Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO live stream, guys. Late night live stream, and this is a special one because I am currently six subscribers away from 3K subscribers on this channel. And I thought, what a better time to stream than now when we're so close. And I want to see if we can hit 3K subs tonight. Let's see if we can do it, boys. Um, well, if you're watching this afterwards, you probably already have it. But we're going to be testing out some electrode variants for a bit. And I'm probably just going to grind the ladder with Trevenant. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. But uh, we're going to try out some. Electrode decks. The first one that I want to test out here is my Electrode Evil Tall Break deck. And uh, we're going to be trying out this one, but we're going to be streaming for a bit today. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We already got a viewer in here. AV Kessler, hi, yo, how you doing, bro? Welcome to the live stream. And yes, I am at my friend's house. The background is different. Um, but yeah, we're going to try out Electrode Evil Tall. Play a bit. Um, some, we'll test out a few Electrode decks. There's a few that I have. Uh, that I made. One of them is Electrode with Tyrantrum. So there's actually a few variants I can make. And if you guys have any other Electrode ideas, we can theory craft and make some fun decks. And uh, the goal of this stream is to hopefully hit 3k subs by the end of it. That'd be awesome. Just so we'll see if we can hit it. Um, Swag Otter, yo, dude, how's it going? Just got back from Canada. Yo, Swag, how you doing, bro? And uh, nothing. I'm just streaming. Gonna be testing out a few Electrode variants and. Uh, it's going to grind the ladder afterwards, but we are close to 3,000 subscribers, so we're going to see if this stream we can hit it. Powerful plushies, hi, yo, how you doing, bro? Welcome to stream. Thanks for stopping by tonight. And we're going to lose the coin flip, so that's okay. awesome. We're going to be playing our Yveltal Break Electro deck to start this off. It's basically the same thing as the other Yveltal decks that we've seen in the past. Um, it's just Electrode can power up Yveltal Break in one, one big swoop. And uh, we have Hoopa for backup. Late night stream, I like it. Yes, Miguel, I felt it's a good time to stream for me here. I'm streaming at my friend's house. Um, and yeah, welcome stream, dude. Welcome to the stream. So yeah, my Wi-Fi is super trash. So the idea of grinding ladders is dead for me. Rip swag. Yeah, I know how it feels. It looks like we're actually playing against a spread deck also. So this is going to be interesting. They're playing Poe Town, so that's going to be a big issue. This actually is a bad matchup for me because of Tapu Koko's flying flip. Almost 11 for me, it's no problem, but I want to say one thing. What the freak? Boom. I know. My boy Electrode, oh no, kaboom. <laughs> now, this is a funny inside joke me and my friends do with explosions. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be a really hard matchup, I think. Um, I don't want to do too much here. I might even just hold the hand, because this, this is not the greatest situation to be in right now. I think I'm just going to pass. And we'll just attack with Hoopa. It's kind of my best play. Can't really use Evolto against these Cocos. Can't use them. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do this game. But, uh, yeah. This, uh, Electrode, uh, Yveltal deck I made earlier today. And I was playing against one of my friends here on PC Joe. He's playing a Gardevoir deck. And it was actually pretty fun. And I got... The deck worked pretty well for me. So we're going to see if we can do good with it again today. Uh, we'll see if we can get better matches in pubs. Playing as a spread deck, though, is not really what I was expecting or wanting to play against. So this can be a bit of an annoying. They're playing Unit Energy. Um, they're going to be playing Tapu Lele, too. Do you remember when Espeon EX spiked in price? Yes, I do. Sadly, when it leaves, the evolution is going to be gone. But, oh, I mean, we do have access to, um, what's his face? We do have Jirachi, Shining Jirachi. Honestly, though, it's not that great. I think I just hit him for 80... I don't know. All right, yeah, we'll hit him for 80, I guess, for now. Go from there. See what we can muster up this game. We could knock out Honchkrow in the future. It's kind of going to be the plan. That thing does have 80 HP left thanks to Potown. I actually don't care about Potown being in play too much. I mean, okay, maybe I do. It looks like he's going to get Flying Flip off. This is going to be a matchup I don't really think we're going to win, but we'll see what we can do. No, nope, they're playing a Hand's Hammer. I might just concede, honestly. I think I... I don't know. Spread. Ah, this deck isn't built to beat Spread. This deck is not built to beat Spread. Shine Drachi is good against Stage 2s. Yeah, it is, because you de evolved their whole line, I think. It's not just the uh, the one Pokemon. You de evolved them all. But, um, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens in this game here. Playing against Ninu. Might be playing Greninja, which I, I don't think is another good matchup for us, particularly. And we're not going to win the coin flip, so that's great. Not getting great luck with the deck so far. Um, but I do have some other Electro uh, variants we're going to be testing out. Electro Tyrantrum is something that I want to try out. I also want to try out Electro Hippotis in Expanded. 
Um, and then from there, we'll probably just maybe maybe we'll play Electro Tyranitar. I don't want to say what tomorrow's video is, but uh, may or may not be Electro Tyranitar. <laughs> Shine Jirachi isn't great because it's too easy to one shot. I know it's it's very weak. But Espeon, I mean, Espeon is weak to Psychic. Hey, yo, Timmy, welcome to stream, dude. How you doing, bro? Thanks for stopping by tonight. We are playing against Greninja, but it looks like we're playing against Greninja GX. That's actually bad. I actually don't, I'm not a fan of this matchup either. We're just getting some pretty bad matchups of this deck tonight. This is not good. No Buzzwolves or Zoarts. Or even Rayquaza. I might just switch over to Tyrantrum after this. Greninja's gonna be hard, because... We can't really do much damage, and then they they just heal Greninja when it when they put him back in the deck. So, and Hoopa is not going to do much when Frogadier and Greninja damage it. Is it only effects of attacks? Yeah. So, uh, Greninja GX, yeah, it can ability me, and uh, yeah, that's not good. This is a bad matchup for us, guys. Ooh, they're playing Glaceon Greninja. Okay, that's actually fine. We will lose Electrode, I guess, which isn't fine, but we'll see what we can do. I'm okay. I'd rather probably this than like. Latios. Oh, did he prize Glaceon? Ooh, he either prizes Glaceon or it's in his hand. Um, I might as well end him. Kind of punish him for not having Glaceon, I guess. That seems fine. We'll see if we can hit off this. We do get a Shrine of Punishment. Might as well put that down now. I might hold it. I don't know. Yeah, we'll play it. It is what it is. We'll, uh, just Oblivion Wing for now, I guess. Sure. We get damage on his Oranguru, so we can Bayful Knight it, I guess. That seems fine. We'll see what Shrine of Punishments can do for me. They might put another Book of Tale down. I bro, I'm tired because of the long drive, but if you eat 3k subs, congrats. Thanks, Swag, and hopefully by the time the stream's over, we hit 3k subs. But yeah, thanks, bro. And uh, if you're just uh, if you're just leaving now, then uh, see ya, bro. Thanks for stopping by for a couple minutes and uh, saying hi and checking out the stream. Alright, so... We'll see what my opponent does this turn. Again, we did shuffle their hand, and they probably had Glaceon in their hand. One might be prized. Just been trying to test some Blaziken GX decks and Scythor decks today since I've recently gotten those. Yeah, I'm trying to get Blaziken Full Arts. I can get, like, I can easily get them, but I'm trying to use my Celestial Storm Packs for other things. Ooh, we copycat it for three. Oh, this is a post rotation deck, isn't it? Um, I want to try out Blaziken with Alolan Marowak. I saw Donald's video, and I was like, yo, put Donwings in the deck, and there might actually be something there. Um, I also want to try it out and expand it. Ooh, we got Coco. We can't use it, though, unfortunately. It'd be really good to go fly and flip right now. I'm actually... I don't know where I want to put Yveltal Break. I don't really want to evolve the active. We don't have a great hand here, unfortunately. We'll just put the DC on Hoopa and just Oblivion Wing for 30 again. We're not doing much right now. They did copycat themselves for 3, so we'll have to see if they get anything. What about Electrode Snorlax? We'll have to look into what the Snorlaxes are in Standard. I mean, I mean, obviously, Snorlax GX wouldn't work, but um, I mean, I can check. Again, there's a lot of Electrode variants. Electrode is pretty slept on, I think. It's not the greatest thing in the world. He's actually putting more energies on just to get a Glaceon in play. That is some commitment right there. We'll have to see if we can draw into something soon, though. We might be in trouble if we don't. Yo, yo, Gonzalo, welcome to stream. How you doing, bro? Thanks for stopping by night. Again, this is just going to be a stream where I'm sweet a late night stream at my friend's house, and I'm going to be testing out Electrode variants. And I'm also going to see if we can hit 3k subs by the end of the stream. Um, I'm like 6 off or maybe 5 off now. So if we can hit 3k subs by the end of the stream, that'll make me happy. What a better way to hit 3k subs than stream it and get my live reaction. That would be pretty cool. If I do say so myself. Um, we'll have to see if my opponent's able to get much going here. He's going to hit my Koopa for 20. He's probably going to want to damage that Hoopa. No. Shut up. Uh, yeah, my friend's over, so you might hear him here and there. I really need to work for some Rayquaza GX and Stack Attack, because I got two Electrode GX today. The Electrode's really cheap. Stack Attack and Rayquaza are like the two most expensive GXs in the set, I think. They basically are. Shut up. Alright, let's see what we draw. We do get an N, finally. That's good. Uh, we'll put Yveltal down. We'll put Coco down. Just try and play as much Pokemon down as we can. We do find DCE. Uh, they might play multiple enhanced hammers, but we'll play it anyways. We have Ultra Ball. We can grab Electrode. We can't play Electrode, though, but we do have Guzma, but it's only one Dark Energy. So I don't know. Not the best start right now. Or Electrode was something that can move energy like Lunala. I was thinking about that, too, today. 
having like a one one electrode in like a Lunala deck. So you blow up electrode, you get psychic on a, on like you put on like a non GX Pokemon like an Orangaru or like I don't know a Mimikyu or something, and then you just move them around that way. That's a decent idea. I was thinking about that too, but I don't know. I end up into enhanced hammer. Are you actually kidding me? We're gonna have we're gonna have a few energies to discard. I mean, if I do try and do electrode here, I don't know if I want to though. Hoopa's gonna get shanked anyways, so it might not even matter. We're getting steamrolled by Glaceon. We could do Lele, but we only have two DCs left, so I don't know. This matchup is pretty, pretty ugly though. Like Lele's heavily damaged. Glaceon's getting some damage built on it, I guess, but it's not gonna matter. He took out Electro. I think I'm just gonna scoop. Yeah, we're not able to get much energy built up this match. That 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 was an L. So yeah, this deck maybe isn't working too well for us. Let's try out Electro Tyrantrum. We'll see how that does. We'll see if we can make anything happen with this deck real quick. We'll just quickly add a deck box and stuff. Make it look fancy. But yeah, the Electro Tyrantrum deck. I'm using Talonflame in the deck, too. Just going to test it out and see how it does for us. Might not be the greatest tech idea, in all honesty, but uh, we'll see if it works. Can you give out some code? Salted Gamer, unfortunately, I don't have any... <coughs> I don't have any more codes. I would give away packs, but I need them to get cards I need. I'm actually kind of low on what I have. Like, all the Celestial Storm packs that I have, I mean, I still have a decent amount, but... I mean, I could do a giveaway at 3k, maybe, but I, I doubt I'll be, uh... I'll be giving that much away, in all honesty. It's nice to see you streaming so late. Thanks, dude, and welcome to stream, Flare Bomber. Yeah, doing a late night live stream. I'm close to 3k subs. I want to see if I can hit it um, during this stream. A great way to just kind of hit 3k would just be streaming. And we're going to be testing out a few Electrode decks while we just stream for a bit. I'm testing out Electrode Tyrantrum right now. We were just playing Electrode with, um, what's his face? We were trying out Electrode Yveltal Break. That deck did okay. Not really, honestly. We actually got some pretty bad games. I'll go back to that deck after, though. Have you tried Zoroark Macargo? Unfortunately, Wimpo, I haven't. Um, I mean, I could build the deck. It's just, I mean, I'm, I'm having more fun with the other Celestial Storm decks. That's kind of the last one on my list. Ooh, Zygarde. This is actually fine, I guess. Um, okay. So, we do have a turn 2 Tyrantrum, and I might as well just sit on it. I don't really hate that either. No Town Flame start kind of sucks. But we'll see if we're able to use Electrode with Tyrantrum. Go kaboom! Oh no, yours canoe. And go from there. <laughs> Alright. That's okay. Looking for a good list. I mean, honestly, Wimpo, I think the best list maybe would just be having, like, a bunch of DC-style attackers, like Mewtwo... Sylveon EX would be good. I just subbed. Yo, thanks, Salted. Uh, I appreciate it, bro. Help me on the road to 3k subs is always appreciated. Thank you for the subscribe, dude. Thanks a lot. And yeah, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you sub. We are very close to 3k. I actually need to check how close we are right now. Let me go on. Let me let me go on live sub count real quick. <laughs> Alright, um, okay, so we'll go on live sub count. And we'll see how close we are. We'll have it open, I guess, as long as it doesn't like cause me to lag too hard. Or my, not lag, but my, my PC, my, my Mac will like go like crazy with the fan. I don't want that. Well, Alright, let's check. Here we go. Live sub count. Let's see where we're at. Alright, so he's actually... Oh, he had Guzma. Are you kidding me? Bro. That is annoying. Alright, we are so far five subscribers off of 3K. Can you help me get some stuff for my account? What do you need, Salted? What do you get for 3K? Nothing, really. I don't think you get anything special from, like, YouTube, but, um, 3K would just be really nice to hit by this, by the end of the night. Um, I might give away, like, I might give away something for 3K. I don't know, I don't really have anything big to give away, though. That's the only problem. There's nothing big to, like, give away. I can't be like, yo, I'm giving away, like, $9,000. No, I'm not, I'm, like, giving away four secret ultra balls. It's not gonna happen. Um, I could do, like, a pack giveaway or something, maybe. I don't really know how to organize that. That's kind of my issue. How would I organize a pack giveaway? It's kind of the problem. So, I don't know. I will do. I want to do something for 3k, though. What would be a fair price for one Ultra Necrozma Rainbow Rare? Um, okay, I think the regular art is around three to four packs. The full art, I think, is six, it's, I think six packs. And I think, I think the Rainbow Rare would probably be eight or... Eight or seven packs for the Rainbow Rare, I'm guessing. Yeah. Alright, but yeah, it's probably that. 
I'll take a shiny energy. I don't know. I don't even think I have any of the shiny shiny energies from any of the, uh, the Sun and Moon sets. I don't really collect those. I, I'd rather... I just like the Harkle Soul Silver energies. You give away some extra GXs you have or something. Yeah, I could. Maybe, yeah. I might do that. Okay, got DC. We are getting destroyed right now by the Psychair deck. That is very annoying. Yeah, I could do a few GX giveaways. Mm. I'm trying to think. Do I have anything from Social Storm? I don't know. I do have a Full Art Scizor I could maybe trade away. Okay, so we activate Baby Buzz now. We could knock him out this turn. As long as things go well. Our Diancy's prize. That sucks. He's got 140 HP. We need a strong energy. I think I dumped the hand. Let's see where we go from there. Subs don't mean anything on YouTube anymore. I'll do it anyways. Thank you, Vajam, man. Thank you, bro. Rip, we didn't hit the strong energy. And not even a Tyrantrum or Tyrant. Yikes. That's not good. That is not good. We could do Cephala Keys, but I'm not going to be able to attack him. I'd have to hit an Electrode and a Tyrantrum off that to do anything. But let's see. I don't know. This is not looking good, though. The fact that we didn't knock him out is pretty problematic. If we knocked out the Zygarde this turn, I think we would have been in a better spot. But he's going to be able to build up the Zygarde on the bench. Buzzwell could have done a lot of damage. That uh, That's just brutal. Yeah, we knock him out, he gets another Buzzwool. Electro Tyrantrum ain't working out too well for me right now. Is he playing Pulse Rotation? No, Max Lixir and Floats. I keep asking myself that when I see clear cards that are still in standard. See what we can top deck, though. If we can get a Tyrantrum, that would be great. I can end him to three here. That would be pretty appreciated. Or I blow up maybe Electrode and then go into three. We'll have to see. Hopefully I can get my Buzzwolves back, too. Buzzwool is pretty good for Electrode. You can swing around. We'll have to see what we can get here, though. This is a bit of a bit of an annoying situation to be in. That Strong Energy and Choice Bandwidth are pretty, pretty bad. Oh, he's going to knock out my Fossil anyways. Yeah. We're not getting anything going this match. We're not getting anything going. Have you considered Electrode Vikable GX or Electrode ho -Oh? Unfortunately, Digi, Electrode only works on non-GX attackers, so you can't use Electrode on stuff like GXs. Um, if you could, that'd be pretty OP, but unfortunately, it's not the case. Have you ever thought of a Zoark Malamar deck? Um, definitely post Parallel City. You can accelerate energy, discard, and draw almost every turn. I thought of having Zoark in Malamar for sure, Bean. I've thought about that idea for a bit now. I've never tried it, but I've always said that's a decent idea. Because not only can Zora give you draw support, it's a good attacker because it runs on colorless energy. So, you know, you can use Malamar's ability with Zoark. And you just tech in a few psych attackers and then it helps out all the um it helps out all the buzzle matchups. Timmy, Philippi, Ripple. Yeah, I know these bad matchups are killing. It's making me kinda sad. And no talent flame start. We do have I guess way to retreat our little Voltorb here. Yeah, I'm not really getting the best matchups right now. Oh, playing against Alolan Raticate, that's the better matchup, because Raticate is weak to fighting. I've yet to get e I've yet to get any Raticates. Something I also want to try out is Alolan Raticate. I don't think it's great. It's definitely interesting, though, that it can attack for no energies at all and actually be pretty efficient. So it's definitely an interesting card that worth, that's worth looking at. So He's playing Alolan Muck, too, which means we're not going to be able to use quite a few things. I'll probably just get rid of Timer Ball and Guzma. Now I'll get rid of Electrode and Guzma. And I'm probably going to get a Buzz here. We're not going to be able to attack him this turn with it, but I'll still go into it regardless. We'll do Cynthia. Kind of, I mean, I was always thinking of running the 6 HP Voltorb, because getting energy in the discard is actually important. Um, okay, we could do this and get a free Fossil. And before he has Guzma Raticate, that would be pretty bad. We'll put Fletchling down. Play the fossil down. We gotta be careful how much poke things we put on the bench. But against Raticate, I guess it doesn't matter. Because he only has 200 HP. Alolan well, Raticate could be good with Rodom. Yeah, that would also be good. Best card in Celestial Storm. Um, probably would be Rayquaza GX, I'm guessing. Either Rayquaza or maybe Stack Attacker or Latios or Latias. Oh shoot, I forgot about them not being attached to GX. Yeah. I'm pretty OP if that was the case, but uh They've obviously tried to balance it. Oh, he's playing a Lolan Muck Raticate. Oh, he's not even playing Raticate GX. Okay. Muck is still weak to fighting, though, so it's not a big issue. Not a big issue. But yeah, Raticate could be good with Rodom. I could definitely see that happening. Rodom, I think, still has some potential. It's really annoying to play against an expanded. I'll tell you that right now. So he's going to enhance Fang me. Okay, so... 
Unless we can get strong energy down. See, I can't kill him. So we're going to have to do Cephalokies. We'll get rid of ener an energy. Do I want to get rid of my other Guzma, or do I just get rid of the Stretcher? I think I just get rid of the Guzma. I hate losing all these, but I can stretch it for Electrode. Okay, so we do get Tyrantrum. We have, I mean, we have the option to go either Tyrantrum or Talonflame, but Tyrantrum is the main attacker, and it's the most important card in this matchup, so yeah, we're going to need Tyrantrum. What do you think is the best way to play Ray Pulse Rotation? Um, probably just the uh, Vikavolt Ray. I think Vikavolt Ray is the best way to play it. Good luck with the 3k milestone. Great vids. Glad to be able to catch a stream. Thanks, Ron, and uh, thanks for stopping by tonight, bro. Alright, uh, we'll stretch her. Well, we don't actually do this now, I guess, but we'll do it anyways, because YOLO swag 420. We got Sycamore for next turn, and we'll just pass. We probably won't get KO'd. Enhanced Fang's only doing 60, so we should be able to live, unless he drops Reverse Valley out of nowhere. You never know. We'll have to see what happens here. Enhanced Fang forces him... Okay, never mind. I thought it was he had a discarded card. So that's Raticate GX. I get them mixed up sometimes. So the main goal was probably to get this Muck, but I did lose two Guzmas. We'll see what happens. Gets rid of a Stretcher. Alright. So we got the Tyrantrum down. We have Electrode in play. We don't have a lot of energy in the discard, though. So that's the only issue here. But we can Sycamore, maybe hit Ultra Ball, get some things going in the discard pile. I think maybe one copy of Shining Celebi wouldn't be bad in here either. Just so you can copy Tyrant, but that would be really risky because you don't use Tyrant. This is really nice. He's three shot me. Would you an N? I'll just stick him on instead. He could do Mux GX attack on like Electrode or Tyrantrum. Ooh. That's actually perfect. Um, okay, there, actually, there's no way to retreat Buzzwool. Three Guzma, three Choice Bands, and one Octillery from Breakthrough are what I need. I can, I can help. I. Do I have any tradable choice bands? I'll have to check out of this game salt that I might might be able to hook you up. Uh, we'll put down another fossil. We'll parallel him. Probably just sacrifice here and then just attach the counter energy. Maybe ultra ball for Lele and then just knock out Muck. I could be I might be able to hook you up. I don't think I have any tradable Guzmas or Oct I know I don't I know for a fact I don't have any Octillaries or Guzmas for trade, but I might have some choice bands. But if anyone has anything that Salted needs in the chat, uh, be sure to let him know. Look at Electro GX's teeth, they look so improper. Yeah, I know. They, like, curve a little bit. I think his mouth is, like, as big as, like, his uh, his bottom half, I swear. Okay, I figured he was going to do something to Tyrantrum this turn, but I didn't expect him to do all of that. Okay, I think I gotta go Kaboom here. Wow, we drew the Guzma, so if he didn't do that, that would have been perfect. We get KO'd by Raticate, though. That's really annoying. Hmm... Okay, I think what we'll do, we'll dump the hand. Dang it, dude, I don't have Lele. Wow, we're getting really unlucky with these decks today. Uh, we kind of have to get Baby Buzz, I think. I guess this is going to have to be the play. I don't like it, but um, not much else I can do. Can't even two-shot him. What are you looking for? I also need two field blowers. Oh, I might have a few field blowers she salted. Um, I'm mainly just looking for like Blaziken GX Full Art from Celestial Storm. Or Ludicolos from Celestial Storm. I'm also looking for some Ludicolos, guys. Salted, do you have a Greninja GX? Okay. Well, yeah, if you want to hook my boy up, that'd be awesome. So we're basically in top deck mode. We've played a few supporters so far, but we've played a lot of other cards, so we'll see if we draw anything. But yeah, Salted, if you want, I can definitely try and hook you up with some stuff. Um, do you have anything for trade, though, Salted? Like, I can I can just give them to you. Like, you don't have to, like, give me anything, like, that I'm looking for. Um, if you did, as long as you have something you can trade, then uh, we'll be able to uh, trade. So, okay. It's an interesting deck. It doesn't have any way to, like, have Muck, like, attack with Chemical Breath. So I guess he's relying on Crunch. Alright, just Enhanced Fang for 60. We'll get KO'd by Muck, but we'll be able to take him out Tyrantrum here. So we'll just hit him with a Sledgehammer. See what our prize is. We might. I know we have a Tyrantrum prize, so now would be a great time to get it, and that is not Tyrantrum. Rip. Alright, so Buzzwool goes down. We'll have 4 energy in the discard pile, plus we get counter, en counter energy, but it won't work because we're going to be tied in prizes. But I'll still put it on the Tyrantrum anyways. 
I don't think if I blow up electrode, actually I could, oh no, 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 I can do this. I can, I can start with electrode, retreat it, and then go from there, okay. Hashtag good idea. It's just these radicates are going to be taken out. My poor old muck, or my tyrantrum. He's only doing 10 base, so we detect this radicate. All right, let's see what we can do this turn. Really looking for a supporter or another tyrantrum. I don't want to play that. Uh, I think I hold the hand for next turn then. So we will retreat into the damaged tyrantrum. Kind of wish I played max potion. And we'll go extra a little extra energy bomb. So we'll put counter energy first. We'll go. So we go counter energy, strong energy fighting. So counter energy here, strong energy here, strong energy here. No, strong energy here. Fighting here, fighting here. Okay, that's good. Might not be able to attack with the uh, tyrantrum next turn though. Sub. Yo, thanks, Mike. Mike, thanks, Mikey. Electrode Wailord with Shining Celebi. Oh, that could be interesting. I don't know what Wailmer does, though. All right, we can crunch him and take a few prizes here. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, no. All right, we got to sit. Oh, nice. There we go. That's where things get rolling. Oh, I can't put Strong Energy on the Fossil? Wow. Huh, okay. Well, that seemed to have backfired. I didn't even realize I couldn't do that. Rip. Strong energy gone. Yeah, I didn't even. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's not good. Bit of a dumb, bit of a dumb mistake. Shut up. Carmelo Gonzalez. Hi. Yeah. Yo, welcome stream, dude. And pff, yeah, I was stupid. I am not playing very well with these electro decks right now, guys. Shut up. <laughs> Do you have any Gardevoir GX for trade? I can't get any. Unfortunately, Mikey, I don't. I only have three Guardies, but uh, I need them. I, I need them, but uh, good luck getting them. Ooh, he didn't knock me out. Oh, yeah, right, the ability. I don't... Ooh, the ability activated. That's huge. That is huge. This is going to change the tides. Okay. Um, we don't have any Guzmas, so that muck stays alive. Shut up. Well, Cynthia... Energy, oh, we didn't get any, that is so brutal. Pfft. Double tails, too. <laughs> wow, we only have three energy left. Ah, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. I don't, this win ain't looking too hot. I think we'll float the uh, Fletchling. Ah! God, alright, we'll float the Fletchling and we'll knock him out, I guess. That's the play. What's your in-game name so I can send you a request? My in-game name, Salted, is Lil Dark Fury. Same thing as here. Hey, man, what's up? I need to test out a deck if I can play the next match. Unfortunately, Pad, I'm not going to be doing viewer battles tonight. Um, if anyone else wants to test, they can, but yeah. I'm not doing any viewer matches. Stop doing that! Oh my gosh. Not when I'm streaming. Stop! Friend just sprayed me with something. Oh my gosh. Um. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm probably just gonna be doing pubs, but pubs versus tonight. Stop spraying me with that. Jeez. Uh, do you have any Kyogre or Primal Ground on the X's? Uh, I do have a Primal Kyogre EX. I have it up on pubs right now because I'm trying to get a Blaziken, full art. Ugh. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. My friend just trolled me so hard. He just sprayed me. I, I'm in my friend's house streaming. That's so weird. Shut up. Oh my God. Oh, all right. What are friends for, though? Eh, you never know. Uh, all right. So he's actually going to go Buzzwool. Questionable. He's keeping his Tyrantrum alive. Thank you. It's very appreciated. Uh, okay. I think what we do is we go Tyrantrum again. How many rare candies are left? Okay, we got three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna discard the hand. Just subbed. Thank you, number one Pokey family. We are getting closer to 3k subs. Thanks for a sub, bro. Am I at 3k now? If I'm at 3k, awesome. I need you to delete a friend so I can. Yeah, I will salted. Say muck, muck. Oh, I saw your I caught I saw your comment, Matt. Yeah, I'm sorry about over exaggerating the muck or like saying it very aggressively. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you just broke 3k. Yo, sick. Wait, let me check this out, guys. Let me check this out. Live subscriber count. Yo, guys, if we did it though. If we did it, this is a huge moment in my YouTube career. Let's check this out. Come on. Update, update, update. 
But if we did hit 3K, guys, I gotta thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Alright, come on, come on. Yo, we broke it. Yes, we hit 3K subs. 3,000 on the dot. Thank you guys so much for 3K subs. We got 40 viewers, too, in here. Welcome to the stream. This is amazing, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, guys. It means a lot to subscribe, and it really means a lot to help support and keep growing the channel. It really does. And we win the game here. Um, I pointed out a lot of ways he could uh, really probably win the game, but he didn't. Congrats. Thank you, Salted. And thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for 3K subscribers. Um, yeah, thanks, guys. Just, just, that's all I'm going to say is just thanks. It's just, I really appreciate it, guys. I really do. We're just going to keep growing. We're going to keep growing A3K. Yo, everyone, welcome to the stream if you are just tuning in. But thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys. What else can one do to support? Really, just subscribe and just like the videos and just, you know, be interactive, I guess. I like. But you guys are awesome. Thank you, guys, so much for 3K. Just like vids, yeah, guns out, liking vids, showing support, commenting, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, we broke 3K, and I gotta thank you guys so much for that. And thank you, Julian. Thank you, everyone who has subscribed tonight, and everyone who has subscribed in the past. And again, we're just keep, we're gonna keep growing, and we're gonna keep changing the game here. Should I sub whipped cream? Oh, that's my friend Connor. I swear, if he actually does it. <laughs> oh no, lol. Oh gosh, if he actually does it, I don't know. But uh, thank you guys for 3K. I'm actually, you know what? I can open up an I can open up a chest here, and uh, we can buy a pack, a celebration, and this is gonna be the three K pack celebration, and uh, this this means we're gonna pull a full art GX. You deserve it, bro. Thank you, Miguel, for all the support, bro. Really does mean a lot. Um, all right, we're gonna open up a pack here, and this is three K pack, so uh, this is going to be awesome. And yeah, I guess I'm getting whipped cream shoved in my face. All right, that's fine by me. We can do it if I mean, hey, it's whatever. Make sure you bring some towels or something, though, Connor. I'm not trying to have a whipped cream covered face. So open up this pack, and this means, since this is the 3K subscriber pack, this means I am guaranteed to pull a good card, a.k.a. Full Art Rayquaza, or Rainbow Rare Rayquaza. Let's go, see what we get. All right, you know what? I, that's at least something good. And we actually got a uh, Deoxys here, too, so that's actually a good pull, because this is going to be a really good card, post rotation. All right, you know what? I'll take it. It's not the most amazing pack of the world, but I will take it. Thank you, guys. 3k um all right so salted gamer i uh, will quickly make room on my friends list here for you um let me just cancel this trade i was trying to get i'm trying to get fuller blazikins i might if i can get a if i can get all my fuller blazikins tonight um i'm tempted to, to test out blaziken for you guys um all right so i gotta unfriend somebody but i don't know who i don't want to un uh, i'm sorry zoomer if, you, if you're on my friends list i'm sorry buddy all right salted you can add me now yeah well, yeah, uh, yeah he doesn't have any he doesn't have any whipped cream awesome what up people yo connor all right, so what well, you gonna? This guy's gonna crack an egg over my head. Oh my god! Uh, all right, guys. So, um, so yeah, salted. Um, they wanted me to. I know they did. I saw in the chat. All right, so okay, salted. Um, I'll check what I have real quick. I know I have some field blowers to trade. Can you make room for me so I could trade for your cargo? Yes. Oh yeah, Av. That's right. Forgot about that. Yeah, I just canceled my trade and then I just remembered. Oh yeah, it was for you. Um, I nah. I really need, like, another account. Ha, demo. I'm kidding. All right. Uh, I'm trying to find someone I can unfriend. I guess I can unfriend this Dark Edger guy. Yeah, unfriend me. Yeah, I'll my friend Connor that I'm with has thing. I'll just unfriend him. All right, you can add me now, Avi, if you want. Help. Shut up. <laughs> so, Waylord does 220 HP. For 4 water, does 200 minus 40. Yeah, the new one, right? Whammer does 3 water. Okay, yeah, I could try that, Digi. Um, again, we'll, we'll have some fun tonight. We'll have a fun little 3K stream. Um, alright, so let me just check my choice bands of field blowers. I don't know if I have enough whale Oh, I don't have any choice bands for trade. Rip. Uh, what about field blower? That's not how you spell field blower. I got two for trade. Okay, I got two for you, salted. I got two field blowers for you, bruh. Alright, is that you, AV? MBB? Alright, so, um, I guess while we're in here, I'll check. So it was Guzma. If I have any tradable Guzmas, I can... No, I don't have any for trade, unfortunately. So Salted, I can give you some field blowers. Just send me something random, I'll trade them. Alright, Waylord. Yeah, I only have one of the new Waylord. I mean, I guess I could actually just use this Waylord. This one might actually be better, to be fair. Because Dive is pretty good. If we're playing Flipteeny, we could, pl we could play that. But this guy has 220 HP. Let's check Whalemer out. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we could use this. Flip a coin until you get tails for each heads, heal 50 damage from Pokemon. Wow. Oh, yeah, I could do, like, a little bit of a deck between that. I just need to get Waylords. 
I just need two perfect. All right, cool, salt tips. Yeah, just uh, send a trade. It can be whatever. Um, that one is better. Yeah. Okay. Here, I'll I'll just take the fuel blowers here for you real quick. So you can just send the offer. Yeah, three K subs. Yours canoes, jealous. Um. All right. So primal Kyogre. So I'll take my primal Kyogre for trade two AV for you. Um. Okay. So. So uh. Well, it's Electro Stream. So we tried Electro Triantrum. We got to win with that. We um. This is for tomorrow. I'm just going to say right now, for anyone in the stream, Electric Tarantar is what's coming up tomorrow. Or, yeah, tech, literally tomorrow, because it's only 11. Um, okay, so. So we got three Electro decks built so far. We got you. We got Electro Devolta Break. We have Electro Tyrantrum. We have Electro Tyranitar. And I have Electro Hippopotus. So we have a few Electro decks um, we can play. So I want to do another one. And yeah, here you go. Enjoy your Field Blower Salted. Enjoyed him. How many Kyogre do you have? Yeah, Avi, I just have the one Kyogre. It's regular art. It's not even full art, unfortunately. It's a rip in the chat. Um, let me just check. Oh, let's just play Hippotus, actually. You know what? We're going to play Hippopotus. So, yeah, Hippopotus, Electro. Not really change about it. Kind of made the last time I can really play this deck efficiently, because we're going to be losing puzzles soon, so that's really going to suck for this deck. But uh, we're going to play some Hippos here, boys. We're going to go Hippo and Expanded. Do you think Buzzwell will still be good? Probably, yep. Pulse Rotation, Buzzwell will still be good. I think I think there's going to be a few Buzzwell variants that could work. Yeah, I think Buzzwell will still be good, though, uh, Pokey Family, for sure. Because, I mean, it's still a beast train. They lose Max Elixir, they lose Strong Energy, which are huge, huge losses for it. Um, nah, but it'll still probably be good, without a doubt. Depends also how big... I'm uh, not even in Expanded. It depends on how big uh, Zoark gets, too. Like, Zoark will still be prominent. People might just prefer Zoark over any other draw support Pulse Rotation. All right, here we go. Let's play some hippos. Let's play Hippopotus Electro. Now that we can finally play it. Anyone wants to be yeah, a salted gamer? Yeah, if anyone can hook up salted with the cards they need. All right, so here we go. We are going to play some hippos. After this, I'm going to see if I can get some Blaziken GXs. And then I want to try out some Blaziken decks. Just because Blaziken is awesome. All right, so we got a pretty okay hand, potentially, if we can get another puzzle piece here. Um, Buzz will start is fine. I don't know what we're playing against. Is Super Scoop up good with Greninja GX? Yeah, I would say it is. Um, I think it is. I think um the the SPE Latios Greninja deck played Super Scoop up, but it's a decent. It's a good card with it. Yeah, it's good. Probably you'd have to play more of like a straight Greninja GX build to play it, but yeah, it's it's not bad with it. Alright, let's play this. We do get heads. That's good. Uh, we'll play another one because why not? All right, so we'll Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of. Energy Hex Maniac. I don't know what we're playing against, though. That's the only problem. We'll grab the Evil Hippo. You evil. We'll grab Hippo. We will grab Acrobike. All right, so we'll grab Trainer's Mail. We'll see how many cards we get in the discard on this turn. Congrats on the 3K subs, dude. Thank you, Mini English, and thanks for all the support on the channel, too. 50-50s aren't normally worth, though. Yeah. Yeah, like, there, there's sometimes 50-50 um, with uh, scoop-ups. I, I don't really find bad luck with scoop-up. The worst luck is for me is always timer ball. I always I always get horrible luck with timer ball. Um, okay, so we got two in the discard. I might as well attach to Hippopotus while I can. We'll play this if we don't get the other timer. Ooh, there we go. We got Battle Compressor. Okay, this is fine. We're going to have to lose one of our puzzle pieces prematurely. It's fine. We will just dump everything we don't need. We won't need... Okay, we got two Via Seekers. Uh, we'll get rid of two more energies in a Tier 2 guy, I think. That sounds good to me. We'll Ultra Ball get rid of Puzzle in Tier 2 guy for a Voltorb. We're going to have a long turn one. All right, we're going to dump the hand. So we're going we're gonna to almost get to 20 cards in the deck probably by the end of this turn. Peter. Um, well, Acrobite. I mean, this is kind of going to be the last card we're going to play this turn. Okay, we got Battle Compressor. That works. What game do you have on that? On the DS? That's a good question. Hmm. I think we'll get rid of Shaman. We'll get rid of the other Voltorb. Oh. And I guess we'll get rid of a, another Strong Energy. That seems fine by me. And we'll pass. So, nice turn one. We got 16 cards. That's pretty good. We thinned through most of the deck here. That is pretty awesome. Let me just uh, rechange the title of the stream. So close to 3k subs. Um, we'll create 3,000 subscriber special stream. 
All right, let me just rechange this title here because we're now 3K subs. I mean, again, thank you guys so much for 3K subs once again. Um, thanks for 3K subs. Awesome sauce. Okay, sounds good. Ooh, we're playing the Glaceon deck. Okay. I mean, that's a pretty decent matchup. Glaceon does block Electrode, but other than that, we do have Guzma, so once we Guzma out of Rangaroo, we don't have to worry about it. You're liking my DSs? Yeah. What? I only have one DS. It was from my grandpa from, like, what, 10 years ago? That's what got me into Pokemon, though. All right, so we will... Uh, all I know is a lot of my Pokemon games have shiny RCS. Jeez. All right, so we'll put Electrode. We need to get more uh, Hippos down, though. This is a bit of a weird hand. I might just play Hex. I don't want to lose two VS Seekers. That's pretty annoying. Um, we'll put Voltorb down for now. Yeah, I don't really want to lose my uh, all these VS Seekers. I mean, uh, I mean, I guess it's okay. Um, but cards like Focus Sash I need. This is unfortunate. This is kind of a tough call. What do I want to do? Do I want to dump the hand? I, I think I'll hold it for now. If we can draw on a puzzle, I'll be happy. I need to get more hippos down. I might as well just hold the hand. What are you playing now? Nah. Hold whipped cream. Alright, so. <laughs> oh, he puts down Pikachu. Oh, he's playing... Ooh, I, yeah, he's playing Raichu Glaceon. What's the difference with YouTube Live and Twitch? Uh, with Twitch, I think there's more, like, features. I'm pretty sure. There's more features. I think... Um, Twitch's donations may work differently, too. There's bits on Twitch. I guess that's another thing. I don't really know what bits do, to be honest with you. And I guess with Twitch, you can actually, like, full-on subscribe to people. I think bits is a form of money. Yeah, bit, yeah, it's a form of money. Um, I guess I have to discard this hand. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, we'll attach here. I don't really want to lose the Sash, though. But, uh, YOLO. We're going to lose some pretty big cards, but, you know, we still have some puzzles we can play, right? No, we didn't hit double puzzle. We do get another Hippo, though. My boy Hippo. Uh, what do I want to battle crusher way? Probably the... Probably Acrobite can go. Okay. So, what do I want to do? Do I want to blow myself up now, or do I want to wait? I think I wait... Are you excited for the new Pokemon Switch game coming out? Nah, I don't really play much Pokemon outside of PCGO anymore. Um, but it does look interesting. I have seen, like, the trailers for that on YouTube. It looks interesting. Maybe I'll get it. Yeah, my friend might get it. Okay. I'm just gonna pass again. I could bring on Hippopotas, knock out a Ranguru. But if he attacks me with Glaceon and then gets, like, Raichu down and paralyzes me, then I'm not gonna be in a good spot. Well, I guess he'll still break the Sash on my Hippo anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Do you have any cool sleeves for trade? I need to look at something other than the starter sleeves. Yeah, I know how you feel. Unfortunately, I don't really have that many sleeves I really do want to trade. Because I like I like kind of saving up all the sleeves that I have. A lot of sleeves can go up over time. Like the Vivid sleeves and also the Mega Blastoise, Mega Venusaur ones that I have. Because they, they're you know going to go up in price. Because they were only available, I think, like in 2015 or 2014. You can only buy them at like GameStop for a certain amount of time. It was some, for something to do with X and Y. But you can't get them anymore. And they are pretty expensive. But yeah, I like I kind of just like saving up sleeves. I really appreciate you doing these streams. Thanks, Amy. Thanks. It really just helped me out. It makes me want to just keep streaming too. Um, thankfully, we do have the uh, stronger John, so we knock out Glacier on one shot here. So he's gonna frost bullet me. He will obviously break my focus sash. That is fine though. Is this even an, an expanded deck? I don't know if it is. I haven't really seen any signs of expanded cards. So he'll break the sash. Oh, he's got that. Oh, he's got that on. Okay. Okay. I don't have Diancy in the deck right now. And I don't have any field blowers. Why does this got that bodybuilding dumbbells on now? I'm guaranteed to get my last puzzle. I might save it though. I think we're going to have to blow up and then put like four strong energies on. I think that's going to have to be the play here. Oh, right, we can't do it. Oh. Okay. We'll have to two-shot him. That's, anno that's annoying. Ah, bodybuilding dumbbells, why are you in the deck? That is very annoying. 
We're not getting great matchups with our Electro decks. Holy cow. <laughs> These matchups with our Electro decks have been brutal. This ain't great. So my opponent will do Ultra Ball. Um, if they get more energies on that Glaceon on the bench, I'm going to be a little worried. It'd be nice if we were playing it Zoark, Kappa. Alright, so he is playing Raichu, but, I mean, you can play that down now if you want. It's not going to matter because I'm already going to get KO'd. He's going to play Dead Runways. Alright, you know what? Be my guest. Be my guest. Bit of a waste, but that's fine. I mean, technically, I lose my Hippopotas. I'll still be able to attack with Buzz here, so that's a good sign. So, we'll have to see. Uh, I just really hope he doesn't get energy on this Glaceon. That could be a deal breaker. Or even if he de evolves his Raichu, it puts another Pikachu down. So he's got to be hopeful that Cynthia didn't give him a lot of things he needs to set up after we take out Glaceon. Kind of wish I had Field Blower in this deck, though. Oh, we can't use Electrode, so we're going to have to puzzle for now, anyways. The, why do I have to. Ugh, these matchups are so annoying. <laughs> just can't wrap my head around any Devo sprays. Uh, I'm just going to concede. We can't do Electrode. Yeah, that game's going nowhere. That's so annoying. Alright, let's play again. Actually, I'll, I better read this. New private offer. Alright, I'll check that real quick. I don't know if I... Uh, that's the problem, though, AV. I don't know if I, if I want to trade this uh, Kiram here. But, um, I don't know if I want to trade that. Unfortunately, I do kind of need that for like a few decks in Legacy. Got any Glaceons for trade? Unfortunately, Gonzalo, I don't. Um, all my Glaceons are, f like, full arts, and I need them. Um, that sucks, So That Hippopotas game is really unfortunate. Um, okay, so let's go back to Standard, and let's try... Let's play Electro Tyranitar. Let's play Electro Titar. But yeah, unfortunately, AV, I can't trade that Reverse Hall Kirim. I do need it. If you have any Blaziken GXs, so AV, or you can get one, and then I I'll gladly just do it then. Electro Genesect. That's not a good idea. There's also Electrode Xerneas Break that I've seen. So maybe we try that. Hopefully we just get better matchups here. These Electrode matchups are pretty annoying. But I, I might actually try out Electro Genesect. I actually kind of want to test that out. I don't think we'll play Venusaur, but if we do, it'll be like a 1-1. And oh, what is his hand? Ugh. <laughs> not great. Okay, so he's going to mulligan, and he's looks like it's another Greninja GX deck. That's a matchup that Tyranitar can't beat because they heal. All right, I'll try a new trade in a bit. All right, AV, if you can get a Blaziken GX, I'll gladly try and trade it for that. I have one for a Scizor. Yeah, Crawford, I do have a Full Art Scizor, but I don't think Full Art Scizor is worth... Um, we'll send Simon. I don't think Full Art Scizor is worth Full Art Blaziken. Full Art Scizor still has a decent amount of value to it. I mean, if you want to trade a Fuller Blaziken and a regular Blaziken for the Fuller Scissor, I could do that, but I don't think it's worth... Fuller Scissor is, I think, a lot worth, is worth a lot more than what Blaziken's worth. Um, oh, so he's not playing a uh, Greninja deck. That's good. Well, it could be Greninja Galissapod, but you never know. You never know. I actually kind of want to try out Electro Genesect. Let's build that after. I could also try out Electro Sceptile. Ooh, Electro Sceptile Genesect. There we go. We put them together. Boom. Look at that magic. This might just be a quick game anyways. Voltorb's not got much HP, and our hand's pretty unplayable. So we'll have to see. Professor Slider might save us if we can take a few turns here. Yeah, he's a full art. All right, Crawford. I mean, the problem, I mean, unless you add Celestial Storm Packs to the trade, again, Scizor full art is not, is worth a bit more than what Blaziken full art's worth. I got Blaziken full art for two Celestial Storm Packs on pubs, the one that I have. Full art Scizor at least, I think, goes for five or six Celestial Storm Packs. So if you would add anything else, I would do it. Okay. I mean, if we can get like ult, like a sycamore, we can put so much in the discard. But uh, it looks like we lose. <laughs> in before my opponent doesn't have energy to win. How much is Glaceon worth? Uh, Glaceon Regar might be three to two packs. Full art might be four packs, four to five. The Rainbow Rare probably six packs. That, that's my best guess. If you go, if you want to know prices, go to outcast.com. How are you doing today? Good, Edwin. Um, just hit 3k subs. How are you doing, bro? Alright, and before he doesn't win, that'd be nice. But we'll, we'll build those, we'll build the Sceptile Genesect Electro deck after this. And try that out. I do need to make a Sceptile deck eventually. So, that could be a good way. Build a, gar a Garbodor Trev Guardians Rising. I've seen that build before, Salted. 
I don't think it's that great right now. Maybe Pulse Rotation? Um, alright, so let's try out that Sceptile Genesect deck real quick. We'll put that together. So, if I were to build this from scratch, and you guys can help me build the deck as we go along if you guys have any um, tech idea options. So, we want to play the 70 HP Trico. We don't need, okay, we probably just need two. Two or three, but we'll go two. We'll play one copy of Grovile. We'll play my boy Grovile. The new Grovile is going to be pretty nice too. We'll play Sceptiles. We probably just need two. I don't think we need to go overboard. We will play three Shiny Genesects. We'll play the Vault Orb Electrode. I might just go 2-2 two, two here. Yeah, I think we'll go 2-2. Two, two. I might throw in maybe Shiny Lugia. Something that could use DCE, because Sceptile actually benefits off DCE also. Uh, what are ways to search for energies from deck in Pulse Rotation? Uh, Josh, uh, not much in all honesty. Um, there's stuff like Alolan Marowak. Um, there's also Shiny Mew. Those are just some I can name off the top of my head that can search the deck for energies. But those are attacks. I think, like, Professor's Letter and Energy Switch are gone. Or Energy Search, sorry, is gone. Um, Alright, so we'll probably want to play Bulbasaur. I think I'm just going to go 1-1 one, one Bulbasaur Venusaur. There's going to be so many Pokemon my opponent has to target. They'll have, you know, they'll hopefully have a hard time. 2-2 two, two, Lurantis seems good, too. I think this is okay for the list. 2-2 two, two, Lurantis. In fact, maybe we just go 1 Electrode. Then we'll have room for some Lele's. Eh? Yeah, that seems fine. Fermosa might not be bad. That deck looks cramped. Nah, I think it's fine. Depends. There's a lot of Pokemon target. Been doing well with Fluffy Charm and Legacy. Nice. That's a really good, uh, that's a nice Legacy deck. Um, I've been looking at Garchomp and expanded with Latios. Prism Star? Venusaur from Shiny Legends is also good. Mr. Mime Bench Barrier. Yeah, that, that's a really clutch card, especially against Buzzwool. That's gonna be a sad card to see leave, though. I'm making this Dragonair Rayquaza deck, so I need to get as many energies as I can in one turn. Oh, yeah, that's an interesting combo. I forgot about what Dragonair can do. I mean, that's a cool combo. Um, okay, so all the Pokemon are done. Um, and now energies. I think we can cut, we can make room for a counter energy. And we'll probably go up to, we'll play up to 12 grass energies. No, we'll play 11 grass. Let's go for it. And we'll play one baton. And we're going to need multiple floats. Maybe just two, though. And I'll just go for a Guzman. How much retreat does Septile have? It has one. Yeah, we're okay. Venusaur is the big boy in the deck. But we're okay with what we got. We'll go Choice Band. Probably just two. Maybe three. But it's fine. I think we can cut two. I think two is fine. We'll play Ends. I think three Ends is good for this deck. Because when you do Electrode, you can end your opponent to a little hand size. Do you have any Dark Rite EX for trade? Unfortunately, Salted, I do not. I don't have that many EXs and stuff for trade. Um, so I don't really, like, stock up on them. Okay, I was like, why do I have Karen in here? But I forgot, it's actually a standard card. Alright, so we'll need Field Blowers. Um, hmm. If you guys have any other options for what could go on this deck, definitely let me know. Uh, we'll need Cynthia. Um, one of these won't hurt. This is just, I find this actually really good with, uh, with, uh, Electrode. It's been working pretty well for me, so if it ain't broke, don't fix. We'll play... Three rare candies. We'll play stretcher. We'll play. We know we need ultra ball. That's that's another card. Um, Bridget also I think is needed in here. We definitely want to play at least one Bridget. How many? We put two Lele's in, right? Okay, I might play one nest ball. Fluffy Chomp can use double dragon energy and expand it. It has a lot of power crept in the last few years. Yeah. And it has Latios too, which is really good in that deck also. Latios can just sweep a lot of decks. Well, it depends if it takes a hit, but it's a good sweeper. Oh, Guzma, Guzma. We don't even have enough room. Ugh, that's, uh, feel blow where you gotta go, I'm sorry. Alright, so this seems fine as a list. Um, Might be kinda clunky, but I think it'll, I think we'll manage. I might just take out Grovile altogether. And then throw in a, uh... Throw in maybe another baton. I think the list is fine. I think that's fine for a list. We'll call it Electro. No, nope, that's in caps. So we'll test. We'll test out this deck and see how we do on PDCGO Electro Genesect. We'll try a deck out here. I'm actually curious to see how this will do. 
I might test out Electro Xerneas Break too. That would seem like a fun deck. I wanted to make room for Max Elixirs in this list. I just remembered that, but yeah, just it's too clunky. That's the problem with uh, Venusaur Genesec sometimes. The deck is pretty darn clunky. I find it anyways to be like that. Take out Cephalokies for Copycat. Yeah, I guess, but it's Cephalokies is actually really good with uh, Electrode. And believe me, it's actually been working out well for me. Yo, Electro Baby Buzz is the play. Adidas Sponsorship, yeah. Um, I do have uh, Electro Tyrantrum, which technically is a Buzzwell deck too, because I do play two Buzzwells in the list. Alright, let's see what we play against here. Looks like we're playing against uh, Stakataka. So we'll, we'll end up seeing how my boy Stakataka does against us. Stack attack a beast box most likely, but he is playing a colorless type, so we'll have to see. Okay, we're gonna start Genesect and we're gonna get a Voltorb start. Which is fine. I think Electrode is just really nice. Almost to 20 likes. Nice salted, nice. But yeah, if you haven't liked the video, if you wanna like the stream you've been enjoying, definitely drop a like. Ooh, Sogaleo. Looks like a pulse rotation build, judging from his Ilmas. Sogaleo is gonna be an interesting match, I think. Um, the fact that we're attacking it with non-GX attackers is gonna be a really big big factor in how we win this. Wow. Okay, nice, Bridget. So if it is Sogaleo, ooh, Registeel could be big if he's playing Delmize. That could one-shot my Genesect. And he's not. Okay, I thought that was going to be a Delmize for a sec. We'll see if he has turn two Solg. We'll see if he gets it. Or Peter. All right. But after a few Electro matches, I might just switch over to uh, some Expanded and just play, like, Trev or something. But I don't know if I want to stream that, because that is kind of boring to watch. Um, but I just kind of feel like grinding the ladder. The new Sogaleo will be amazing. Yeah, the new Sogaleo with um, the DC attack is going to be pretty tough. What's the meaning of box in a deck name? I don't get it. Well, kind of just, like, a toolbox of different attackers. Just having a bunch of different attackers in one deck that do, like, certain things. Either it's co covering different types or just having their own effects. That's kind of the thing. So let's see if my opponent does much else. Again, I'm kind of worried about Delmize, but he didn't even attach to Ready Steel this turn, so it's almost not going to matter too much. But him grabbing that Sogaleo, he has turn two Soul confirmed. So in our case, we'll bridge it here. So let's just check. We got... We got no energy surprise. Or we do. I don't know. I can't count today. Um, uh, where do we want this counter energy to go? I guess we'll put on the active? Nah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to bed. See you next time. If I have time tomorrow, I'll watch the replay. Alright, thanks, Salted, and, uh, yeah, see you. Good night, bro. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. Another fun deck I've been playing is Dustnor Glaceon. Ooh, that's a, that's another interesting idea for uh, Glaceon, is Dustnor. I've tried out Dustnor with, like, Ready Seal and, um, Ready Seal and also... Coco and um, Landris is, uh, you know, Dustnor is decent. I'll miss N in the format. I haven't played without N since Platinum Era. Yeah, same. Um, I mean, I started playing Pokemon in, like, the DP era, too. Um, but, yeah. N and Sycamore, are, it's going to be weird not having those effects in the format anymore. They've been around for eight years now. Juniper and N came out in, what, 2010? When Noble Victories and Black and White Base dropped. So it's going to be weird not having those effects in Standard anymore. And my opponent has no cards in his hand, so this is also a good thing. But yeah, it's going to be a really hard time to adjust without those cards, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to miss them. I think Sycamore is one of those cards that, like, that's that might be a bigger loss than N and Bridget. Just Sycamore is such an important draw resource, but not having it anymore, I mean, decks are going to be built a lot more differently now. So it's going to be tough to say what's going to happen. So my opponent will Soul Burst. This could guarantee they top deck something because they are thinning out the deck. We're not going to be able to attack them, I doubt, next turn. The best thing we can do is just build up as much energy as we can. They're in top deck mode, so we have at least a feel-safe sort of vibe right now. So that's good. Now, can I top deck a Sceptile or a Venusaur? Would be great to top deck those. Let's see what we get. No, another Tapu Lele. Not great. We'll do Cynthia. Let's see what Cynthia gives us. Okay, we got Rare Candy, Sceptile, no energy, yeesh. Ugh, that's ugly. Um, we got Venusaur for next turn, too, so that's good. 
I mean, it's nice to force him to knock me out here with Sogaleo. I actually kind of like that. I'll miss Lost Guard deck and just Prime decks in general. Huh. Why well, aren't those rotated out, though, Edwin? They're, those are in Legacy. Oh, never mind. What am I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I miss Vilegar, and I also miss some... Um, I miss Magnezone Prime a bit, too. That was another deck that I liked playing back in the day. Looks like he's going to knock me out of this, which is pretty clever. Losing to post rotation decks is always fun. And, I mean, Counter Energy is in the discard, and we do have it activated, so that could be a very big player here. Would you trade your Primal Kogar and Hypnotoxic Laser for a Shiny? Unfortunately, I don't think that's worth it, AV. I don't even think I have a Hypnotoxic for trade, unfortunately, bro. Um... This is tricky. I know I'm going to dump the hand, but I don't want to put Voltorb in the active, but I might have to just use this cannon fodder, but I mean, he'll shiny narrow me. We'll see. And eh, Choice Band's got to go. That's a little annoying. This matchup might actually not go our way. Alright, let's just pray that we just get it something really just godly off of this Lele. That's, that's my best pray. It is nice that we're getting two stage twos now. That's a good thing. Hey chat, that's asking trades. Y'all need to understand Dark Fear works hard for his trades. Here, he's here to run and play neat decks for y'all and have fun, be part of this community. If you're looking for trades, you can ask other chat members. It's all good, mini, but yeah, a lot of stuff that I, I just can't trade, like a lot of like cards, like Full Art Guzmas and stuff. I just I literally can't trade them. It's like I need them. Okay, so Sycamore. This has to be the best Sycamore known to man, but I don't think that's even possible. Yeah, I didn't think it would be. My boy Voltorb might have to be sacrificed for the greater good. Hmm. I could... Uh, the fact that Voltorb gets KO'd this turn is un, it's unavoidable. It's unavoidable. Did Wait, did he actually top deck out of that too? I think... Oh, he did top deck a Cynthia. These Electrode matchups, guys. What are they? What are they? I remember the truth deck with Vile Plume or Uniclus damage swap that won worlds. Ross Cother, my boy, yeah, that that's one of my favorite decks of all time. I I think I played that deck at a, like a Battle Roads once at my league a while ago. That was a really fun deck. I miss that deck. I've always wanted to try to recreate it and expand it. Just never really got to it. I don't even have any Uniclus with damage swap, but um that was an insane deck. I remember when that deck was popping. That was crazy. Yeah, maybe this deck isn't so good. Maybe it just relies too hard on, like, not getting one-shotted. That's the problem with using Genesect sometimes. It's so weak and flimsy. Whoops. Oh, no. Don't want to open up. No, nope, don't want to open up Premiere. Yeah, that's the problem with uh, Genesect. It's so flimsy. He's actually... Oh, that's right. Resistance. Beautiful. But our hand is pretty, pretty bad otherwise. So not so beautiful. And there's nothing I can do. There's literally, um, maybe I should have attached and bloated up Lorantis to just Chlorocyte them. I should have done that. Hi, congrats on 3k. Thanks, King Waylord. Thanks for the support, too, on all the streams, bro. Still available in Legacy. Only card to get is Tropical Beach. Yeah, that card is, that's ridiculously expensive. Either they reprint it or ban it. That's, that's my opinion. I can attack them with Genesect. I can Energy Reload. I can attack the Sogaleo with Genesect now. But then I just get smacked by Fangs of the Sun. I don't really see any way out of this. Maybe I just let him KO Voltorb and then attack with Sceptile? I don't know. When is the new Sogaleo GX coming? I'm actually... Let me look that up right now. Sogaleo GX promo. Well, there's... I think there's multiple promos. But... Check it out. Lunala GX... Yeah. Sogaleo Lunala brought boxes. They are coming out. So they were originally released on March 23rd. No, they were going to be released on March 23rd. They've been delayed to October 5th. So sometime around then. I'm guessing. I wonder, when that, when's that promo? Does anyone know when that uh, Lele's coming out? The Psychic one? Electro decks were given to us to uh, lower our PDC Geo MMR quickly. Congrats on 3K. Thank you, Ron. And yes, they were. Yes, they were, unfortunately. These matchups I've been getting with these Electro decks have been pretty miserable. I'm not having good luck with them, which is kind of annoying. Miguel, it's coming out in October. Okay, never mind. It's going to be a promo only. Yeah, it's going to be a promo only, I think. Same with the new Lunala. Lunala is actually not bad either. 
But yeah, when you, does anyone know when the uh, when the promo Lele's coming out? The damage swap one, the psychic one. I know, like I know, like people can order pre-order the codes now. I think I don't know. Okay, so the best plan of action is to cry in a corner. No, the best plan of action is to. Maybe assault him with Genesect and then try and hit Wishful Baton, but we don't have a supporter for next turn. We're just getting we're getting just destroyed right now. So the best way to go about this. What is it? Did you see Yellow Swall's electrode video? Uh no I haven't. What is it about though, Avi? I'm testing Matagro's baby GX with Ultra the Moon Stevens. Yeah, that deck is insane. I literally uploaded a video on that today. Uh, this is tough. What to bring up? I guess Genesect. It's a three... It's out in a three blick pass through with Celestrum. Okay, so it'll be probably coming out soon. Another energy. I mean, that might help us, but not really. Alright. Hit him for 130. We could have knocked him out, but I don't want to just be left with no energy on the board, especially when we're staring down a Sogaleo GX with full energies on it. I guess we can fish Marvel Lorantis, load up Sceptile. That's my last dis my last ditch effort. But we're not gonna win the game. But I can do what I can. And that's always you know, it's always about it's always about doing your best. I don't know. Poor Peter. Alright, so let's see what my opponent does. He might have Guzma and knock out Lorantis. You could even knock out Venusaur. That would shut me down pretty badly too. And it looks like he's going for it. No. Because he all y'all wrote it. No, he's actually gonna sunsteal me. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna lose our Genesect. That sucks. It should be available now since the set is released. Oh. I just haven't seen any online yet. Maybe that's why. Okay, so that's actually fine. He can't KO me with thing. Can I get an N? Oh. Beautiful, we got the N. Alright, so this is where things can maybe turn around. We can end him. It should be available now. So oh, I already read that, Kappa. Um we got Electrode. Uh, we got Wishful Baton. That's pretty nice. Flower Supply for a whopping 40 damage. Putting so much damage on the board, it's insane. Uh, we'll put one on Lorantis and one on... One on... Septa no, one on Lele. I don't know. Yeah, I think if we were drawing better, we would be okay. Um, I don't know. It'd be nice to load up another Genesect. Who knows? The comeback could be real. If I can get a Voltorb going at some point, it might be okay. Anyone remember... Thunderous Deoxys Kyrim, that was my favorite deck. That was an interesting deck. Yellowswell's Vid is an Electro deck showing how to lose six prizes in one turn, I kid you not. Oh, I get, oh, maybe, is it expanded with, like, Milotix and Copperigus? That's an interesting idea. Obviously, it's not meant to win. Maybe you could win a game if you, like, do enough damage with the attacks. I know there's Pokemon that can damage themselves, I guess. Got a Greninja GX for two Evolutions pack. Nice. Is it regular? Probably is, but that's a really good snipe, because Evolutions is worth... I think it's like 0 0.05 or 0 0.440. You should do trainer challenge speedrun. Eh. I think I've done every trainer challenge, though, for every theme deck that I own right now. Good day, sir. Yo, Gary, how you doing? Oh, he's actually not even going to take the knockout. This is good. Um, I can KO the Sokaleo GX this turn. And that's a beautiful turn to take it. Wait, we are KOing it, right? think we are. I'm really hoping we are. We have to put all the energies on, but, uh, and we're gonna have to retreat Lele, but, yeah, we, um, uh, might make a small comeback. Huh. Uh, we'll save this hand for next turn, and we'll Chlorocyte them. That's doing 250 on the dot. 300. I didn't need to touch the energy. Whatever. Who cares? Overextent doesn't really matter. Wishful Baton's in play anyways. Evo is 0.25. Oh my gosh. It's even lower than I thought. Yeah, Evo, man. It's sad that it's so cheap. It is sad that it's cheap. All right. All right. Oh, I got another Sogaleo. Rip me. We can end him to one again. I might be okay. Oh wow, watch that when you get the off, but I'm testing Pulse Rotation and Addy Psych Energy and Ultra. It's a fun deck. Not bad, but Stevens is OP. Yeah, Stevens is crazy with the, with that Metagross, especially when you grab Max Potion. 
and like you can set up multiple metagross just off Stevens. Leafeon wouldn't be bad. Oh, you know what, Gary? That's actually a good idea, running a Leafeon in this deck. And then I think at that point, we cut down to two Genesects. Thank you for the idea. I'll uh, tweak the deck after. I wish there was Legacy Tournament still. Yeah, that kind of really killed Legacy. Legacy is pretty empty right now. It's not populated at all. It is sad to see that format go, not gonna lie. It's a little sad to see. We will go here. I'll have to grab another Tapu Lele. I think I discard this entire hand. And maybe try and end him to three again. I could Guzma, knock out this guy. But this thing is still the big threat. And he still has this guy in play, so it's not over yet. So we'll grab Genesect. Yep, we'll grab our other Genesect. I could flower supply to it. I don't know. We got another N. That's pretty good. We can M to one here. Do I do flower supply and just build up Genesect? Yeah, I think that's fine. We can use Genesect, maybe tank it. I don't know. Maybe I just spread out the energy even more. I don't know, let's just load it up. Ah, it's just, the win is just not going to happen. Now that that, that Sokoleo in play, I think just nothing I can do. I wish they had IRL tournaments with old formats. Yeah. One day. What are you saying? Alright, Guzma, rip. He's going to knock out my Genesect anyways. Still using Sunseal Strike, though. Alright. So we have to attack with a non-GX attacker, and that will be Septile. Shut <laughs> up. We had him to one, though. Or two, sorry. And this is big. Unlimited. Oh, there is unlimited. Hey, I played against you earlier. My name was Blazeball19. Hoping we could trade. Well, Jenna, if you want. Um, you'd have to add me, but I don't know if I honestly have much room left. But, uh, we, you know, we can look into it. Uh, that? Okay, that doesn't really matter. So, Hype got, like, 200 evolutions packs. Trading them all now. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Choice Band is really clutch. I don't even know how much I'm doing here with Powerful Storm. Wow, Sceptile, you are a beast. There's no other GXs in play to KO, but... I mean, if he takes a Voltorb, I don't really care. We got a Tornado in Windsor, Ontario today. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was it was storming out today for me here in Ontario. Um, for where I am, it was storming pretty bad. Well, what are you looking for, though, Jenna? Actually, I just remembered. Oh, they're going to do Ilma. Huh. And they get heads. We're great. <laughs> That's going to get them the energy to knock out my poor Sceptile. I do find a Guzma. Okay. Something might be cooking up here. If they don't have any Guzmas... Well, they haven't even played one yet. Oh, they have. Hello? Yo, Pokemon TCG Master 13. How you doing, bro? Nice to up. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you sitting like that? Do you play IRL? Nah, OG, unfortunately, not anymore. It was kind of just too much money for me. He got another rare candy. Holy cow. This guy's deck is playing so well today. Nah, I don't. It was too much money. I used to play in real life. I used to. He's actually not even going to take the knockout. We win the game if he just... What? We win the game. Boy, that's awesome. All right, so it looks like we just win here by just... No... Oh, we don't? No, we don't. Okay, hold on. We need an energy, and that's... Shoot. Stop <laughs> doing that. What the heck are you doing? Yeah, we don't win here. Ah, oh, we can't even go Electrode. Oh, my goodness. Is there anything I can do to win this? Yeah. No. I really wish I didn't burn that float. What do you think about the Hex ban? I'm mad. I'm kind of, eh, I'm iffy on Hex. Um, it is a card that everyone would like to need. Uh, so if I retreat, I'm only going to be doing... Oh, I'm going to be so short on the knockout here. This is bad. I mean, I might as well just go for it. I mean, I think it's still fine to attack with Jet with uh, Sceptile anyways. Dang it, that is so annoying. We just need energy to win. If we won this game, are you a pure enough line because I can't trade you? Oh, yeah, Jenna, I got to just quickly unfriend someone to uh, make room in my friends list. It's full right now. Hello? Yo, Nathan Stockman. Welcome stream. How you doing, bro? 
All right, let's see. My opponent does have access to Guzma's game. He probably does. That's probably for Lele. Yep. So we almost won the game. Oh, is Guzma's prized? Oh, is this Guzma? Eh? Is this Guzma prized? It is. Bruh. What are you doing? Go to bed. It looks like his Guzma's prized. Either that or it's on 4 and it's not. Puzzle's really broken. Puzzle, yeah, puzzle is really good, uh, broken and good in uh, Nightmark and Zoark. Though I think Zoark still needs to be uh, toned down a bit and expanded. It's a little ridiculous still with Execute, Skyfield, just DC to attack. I think Zoark still needs some sort of tweak. Wait, huh? Okay, I was going to say, are you actually going to just do 200? All right, see ya. Shut up, that's my house, you idiot. <laughs> that's my house key. All right, so... Bit of an unfortunate loss. We came very close to winning. Also, can we battle? Unfortunately, Jenna, I'm not taking any battles uh, tonight. Um, but uh, maybe next time. And if you're on my friends list, anytime like I'm on and I'm not doing anything, I mean, if you want, you can just ask. And I, I'm down to battle. I, I did that today with someone. Over 30 people watching. Don't forget to smash the like button. Give the stream some love, y'all. Thanks, Mini English. And uh, yeah. And rip the game. Rip the win. So that was a decent game. We Dang, we were so close to winning. We just needed one energy. Or if we didn't lose all those floats, we actually could have just attached to Venusaur. But Sceptile actually turned into a complete tank and monster this game. Hex got banned. Hashtag mad. Yep. Right, I'll check that in a minute. Um, I just got to unfriend someone. Who will it be? Uh, I'm sorry, Maurice Thomas, if you're watching the stream or the VOD after. So you can add me now, uh, Jenna. Yeah, you can add me now, Jenna. Uh, he killed me twice. Yikes. Alright, so I just gotta quickly check that private trade. And we'll do, like, a, another game or two. Let's see what we... Okay. I mean, I'll take the Coco. That's fine. I actually kind of need another Coco. I'll do it. AB. I don't even need Primal Calgar anyways. It's not that great of a card. Blaze Ball. Alright. So, yeah. And anytime, and, uh, anytime I'm on, Jenna, you just hit me up. And I might, I might just do a view battle. I, I did that today. With someone. Well, not a viewer battle, but a friend battle. I've been testing Zork with Vile Plume without Hex. It's really powerful, even if it's a turn two item lock. Same, I was playing with a Vile Plume um, fighting deck, which was pretty good. Alright, so what to do now? So we've played around with a good amount of Electro decks. Add Leaf Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll edit the deck again, I guess. So we'll go here, here. Um, Maybe Girl Vile can go. We'll rely on the rare candy setup. And we'll go two EVs, one Leafeon. But if we don't get the Leafeon, this kind of goes to waste. That's the only problem. Well, then we'd have to run the stage one Pokemon. Okay, so we go two candies. This is a little more trickier than I thought it would be. I guess one one Voltorb? I don't know. This is This deck seems way too clunky. Yeah, it might be too clunky, Gary. I might, I might have to just relook at that down the road. That might be too clunky, though. Metagross. Yeah, I put a Metagross video today. Um, I don't really feel like playing it though. Got Copycat Fuller and Electro GX Rainbow Rare out of my ETB. Yo, nice. Copycat Fuller Art's gonna be a nice card. I don't think it'll like be super expensive, but it's one of those Full Arts like Ace Roller that'll be around that ten range, I think. Yeah, I, I could always just relook at that. Um, so we'll end it off. We'll, uh, we'll make another Electro deck here. We'll make Electrode with. Uh, what's his face? Xerneas. That's another deck that um, could work. Is Electrode with Xerneas. Let's let's quickly make that here. So we gotta play four Xerneas. I don't. The only problem is I don't know if I want to run. Um, uh, I don't know if I want to play any. Uh, what's what are, what are they called? Max Elixirs. I don't know if this deck can play Max Elixir. It might not have enough room. We'll have to see though. We'll have to see. So. Um, we'll play three DCs, and we'll go ham on the fairy energies. We'll just play, uh, 12? No, I think 11's fine. I don't know how much Xerneas break plays. I know they only play three DCs. Have any buzz checks for trade? Unfortunately, baseball, I don't. Um, I don't. All my buzz wolves are full arts, and I only have three, so I need them for decks. So I can't trade them, unfortunately. So... Be nice if I could, because they are pretty. Muzzle is worth a lot right now. 
New Deoxys is lit. Yeah, it is. The New Deoxys is really good. It's good at Malamar, even just as a one-of, because that's its second attack is actually pretty strong for Malamar. So we go... How many Fairy Gardens do we want? I think we want three Gardens. We have two Blowers. So... What else? Three Guzmas, I guess? I don't know, four is the amount, but we'll go three. Uh... We'll play three Max Elixirs. I don't want to go insane on the Max Elixirs. Okay, actually, well, I don't think the deck needs Bridget. Watching stream right now, congrats to three fake subs. Thank you. Oops, I didn't say thank you right. Let's check the chat again. Do you have any extra Zork I could have? Unfortunately, one I don't. I only have four Zorks. My Rainbow Rare one is a very special Rainbow Rare. Not really. It's not, like, unique or anything, but it's just... It's just, it's a long story, but, um, it's just when I pulled it, this is all I'm going to say. Um, okay, we're going to need to have sickies. I think three, you know, four is fine. Uh, we're going to need experience share too, most likely, right? So, we'll play two of them. Why not? And we don't have enough room for four Ultra Balls. Rip. I guess we'll just cut out Max Lixer all together. We'll cut Max Lixer out all together. Right. Well, we need stretchers. And, yeah, I think we can round this out with two stretchers, I guess. Seems fine. I don't know how good this list is. Let's try it out. Xerneas... Electrode. I didn't even spell that right. Don't care. Uh, let's use Victini coin, and we'll use these Xerneas sleeves. Maybe four Nest Balls is better than just two, but it's the best I can work with. This deck is a little bit, um, it's a little bit of a clunky deck. And for deck box, we'll play the Dredagon deck box, because, you know what? Why not? Diantha, oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, we gotta add Diantha real quick. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Avi. Do you, have a, uh, do you think the new Deox is better or worse than Evo Mewtwo? Um, I don't know. The fact that the Oxus doesn't have as much HP technically makes it worse. Um, but its second attack is actually better than uh, Mewtwo's second attack. Mewtwo's second attack is unplayable. I don't think I've ever seen it used once. Yeah, yeah, we're all good, Nathan. We're all good. We are all good. Just in the nick of time, too. Right as I went to Versus. All right. So let's try out this Xerneas deck real quick, if I can find it. It's all the way at the back in the X's. No, I passed it. I'm an idiot, right? X is not at the bottom. I don't know why I said that. Alright, I put... Yeah, there it is. Alright, well, let's try this out. We're on a zero losing streak, so we don't got much to lose. Shut <laughs> up. That's my friend who's literally right next to me, by the way, in the chat. Nice, nice thing to say in the chat. Alright, so let's see here what my opponents were running. A lot of types. This tells me it's going to be a Zoark deck. Any all types tells me it's a work. Probably isn't, but you never know. It might be. So, yeah, we will... <laughs> Alright, so, yeah. Here we go. Uh, pretty decent starting hand. I can uh, play one of the DCs, depending if I'm going second or first. Alright. I wish Life Do was still in this format. I could actually, yeah, Sheninja with Electro is a combo that would actually work. I love the red GX counters. They look, they look nice. Alright. So we can Nest Ball for the third Xerneas or grab a Voltorb. We're playing against Beast Box. Alright, so we can attach this DC. I think I'm actually going to get a Rangaroo so I can put the DC on it. He might play your boy Kartana. I am a little worried if he's playing Metal Beast Box, though, but I mean, the type tells me he's not. Okay, rip this hand. I Ultra Ball away two cards, and then... Hmm. Okay, I'll have to Ultra Ball what I top deck, so I can grab two cards. I can get Voltorb down. I can put Electro down. I'll have to lose when my Xerneas breaks, but in the meanwhile, I am going to be able to get Electro GX down, so that's good. I do play two Stretchers, so I'm really not too worried about losing Xerneas. What to see. Beast Box is good with Stack Attack. Yeah, I think uh, Stack Attack of Beast Box is one of the top top contenders right now for Worlds. Maybe just like Impulse Rotation too. 
Post Chase and Stack Attacka also is pretty good. So yeah, I think Stack Attacka definitely just gets a lot better. Top two deck for Wolves. Yeah, I would say so. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say it's like the best pick, but it's definitely one of the more preferred picks. It's up there with Rayquaza, Buzz, Malamar, Zorg, Underscore, Attacker. So he's going to put the Beast Energy on right away. That actually helps his numbers quite a bit with a full beast. And he's playing body. Of course he's playing body, but with no mills. I think I have field blur. You should mom me in chat. How about I hide user on this channel? No, I'm kidding. Uh, somebody, again, the guy in the chat, the Connor H guys, is my friend who I'm at his house right now. So he's going to get a hate hand size with Lily. The body mill dumbbell is just really annoying. That kind of helps um, him out a little bit from getting one shot. All right, so let's see what we drew. Ooh. Okay, so we don't even have to play this Ultra Ball. I love it when a good plan comes together. We get to end that 8-card hand away, too, which is beautiful. Rayquaza is really good. I think it's a little over... Wow, no fairy? Bruh. That is a bruh and a half. Wow. Okay. No fairies. That just happened. Yeah, Beast Box, it's, I think it's like a good rogue, and it's also a good archetype. But yeah, Rayquaza is also like... I think it's overhyped, but it definitely is very good. I've seen how good it is. It's I think it's a good deck. I think it's not as good as everyone says it would have been. But I think Rayquaza is still a really good pick. But I think a lot of people are just going to be ready for it. It gets hit really hard by Zora Garb. It gets wrecked by Trash Lange. Uh, fairy decks, you know, just can also give it a field day. So I don't know. I think Rayquaza is still good, though. Even with all the counters to it and stuff, I think it still just can still run train on people. So we'll see. What are you playing? Blackjack? What? Oh, okay. So we'll see if he KOs me. I am a little worried that he will. We could do Diantha, but there's nothing to grab. That was an unfortunate whiff. No fairy energies is a tragedy. Tekken Tapu Lele in this deck, Nathan? Or Rayquaza? I don't know. Oh, the pro. Oh, I know what you're. Never mind. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, that, that, the one Lele. Never mind. Yeah, I know what you mean. The uh, Lele with um, the thing. Lele with uh, side drive. And yeah, literally a fair and a choice band lets it one shot um, a uh, a uh, Rayquaza. I, I cannot speak right now. Maybe because I'm trying to play blackjack on my phone while I'm playing. Wow, this guy hits me with a carton and a hammer in the same turn. Fatal, bruh. Okay, well, good thing is <laughs> we do have Electrode, and Electrode does him. We got a 10. Oh, great. Electrode can um, just get him back, so that's fine. Yeah. A lot of Rayquaza lists, though, will play... Uh, the only unfortunate thing is they are going to be playing a lot of Fighting Fairy Bells I've seen. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to end him. He's got one card in his hand. I think, instead, we'll get rid of Guzma and N. We'll grab Lele. I'll Rangaroo instruct I'll do it first. I don't know. I'll, I'll just Lele for Cynthia. Okay, that's fine. Well, we'll get Cynthia. I don't want to get rid of Diantha. That actually might be pretty important. And, yeah, that's fine. How many fairies do I got in the deck? What? Wow, seven. So I got four prize, right? Four. Yeah, I got four. Four prize? Four. Yeah. That's brutal. All right, we need to hit a fairy here. Okay, there we go. There we go. We can finally get some uh, Geomancy action in. No experience shares, which also kind of sucks. These busts, man. If you guys have ever played Blackjack before, Alolan Dark Trio with Lady Support. Yeah, that's going to be a, another interesting rogue going into post rotation. Lady's a cool card. I don't think there's a full art Lady, so they, they need to give us one because it's one of those tech cards we'll see in quite a few decks. Hey, yeah, give me with a 21. No, got me a 13. I'm in a dealer bust. Nope. And I busted. Awesome. Yeah, if you guys see, I'm playing Blackjack. If you guys know how to play Blackjack, let me know. It's addicting to play. I got a 15. He has a 3 all stand. Yes, he busted. Nice. So, yeah, he'll KO me, but that's fine. Do I want to go Kaboom this turn, though? I'm really tempted to. Uh, we'll get one shot by Gale Blade, though, so I don't know. That's an unfortunate top deck. We'll just discard the hand. Again, we have Stretchers. See if we find one here. No, we don't. Well, that's fine. We can play this and get rid of these two. Now, 
if I do go kaboom here, I get how much extra damage in play? 60, no, 80, 100. 120, 140, 160. Ah, we're not gonna KO him. Mewtwo might be good. Uh, I mean, if he wants to give up that beast energy and knock me out, be my guess. But I'm actually tempted to go for a Geomancy here. But I think it's safe to go life stream. Once we get these two energies in the discard pile, we can extra energy bomb them back. Alright, we got a 20. So. Even before this guy gets blackjack, alright, nice. So, this thing is all built up and ready to knock me out. Wait, Shining Celebi, huh? Okay. Never seen that before in a, uh, in a Gandel deck. And we aren't KO'd, which is also really clutch. We're not going to be able to kill him this turn, though. Another Fairy, that's pretty good. We'll play Cynthia. Not for the dealer busts. Okay, we did find Stretcher, and yeah, I think we'll play the Stretcher now. Get our three guys back. And we'll live stream him again. We're not doing a lot of damage, but we'll just wait. We'll wait till next turn to go kaboom, and that's when things are going to get good. All right, hit me with the 21. That's a 17. Of course this guy gets a 21 off that. You see that? Scoop ups too, bro, and he hits heads. Oh my gosh. Oh. He picked up the carton. That had to have been a misclick. That had that that was a misclick. Oh, he got rid of the beast energy. That's a decent sign, I guess. That had to have been a misclick. Cause that makes no sense. I mean I guess then I can't use my uh I guess he'll discover my DCs, but that that was still a weird play. Unfortunately, Ivan, I can't uh, translate that. Uh, one Xerneas GX move counters, one Bailey, Baby Lele wouldn't be bad. Mm -hmm. I think a Xerneas GX is good in here, but you can't Electro to Xerneas, and that's kind of the only issue with uh, playing it. Alright, we'll uh, play Diantha here. Alright, we will get back... We'll get back Guzma. Okay, we're gonna go Kaboom this turn. We'll get back Guzma and I guess Cynthia for draw support. Well, extra energy bomb. He'll take an extra prize, so Lele can easily get KO'd at some point. And I don't even remember the order I did it in. Awesome. That's the Dang it! I didn't remember the order. That's a fairy. What? Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't even remember the order I did that. Wow. Rip. Rip, 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 rip. We're 10 short. That... <laughs> I didn't even remember the order I did that in. That's the thing. When you play Electrode, you gotta remember... Oh, I, what? I just hit on a 19. But I didn't bust. <laughs> I don't know. Any eight. Oh, I'm that's that's a concede. Wow. Talk about misplaying. It tells you, yeah. Oh. What kind of a what kind of a play was that? That was just that was a disaster. Yeah, I'm a bad player. Wow. Okay. Well, we're gonna go probably back to Electrode Tyranitar. Actually, I want to play Electro Tyrantrum again. Let's let's uh. Let's play Electrode Tarantrum. Dang it, that was a dumb misplay. If you're ready, the message, it tells you which energy you're placing. Oh, it does? Oh, whatever. I mean, the fact that we weren't even KOing him one hit anyway, so I guess in the end it doesn't matter, because he did do the Ace Roller, which completely uh, shut me down entirely, but wow. That was a dumb, that was a dumb misplay. I wasn't honestly paying attention. What's the floor this time for the ladder? The Fuller Carmelo is Fuller How, which is, yeah, a chair and reprint. So, uh, not a great ladder. Um, Alolan Ninetales, I guess, is the G... I bust again. Alolan Ninetales is a GX on the ladder, which is actually not that bad. I actually kind of like Alolan Ninetales being on the ladder. I think that's a decent ladder card. And we get Celestial Storm on the ladder, too, which is pretty hype. So, it's not a bad ladder. It's better than the ones we've been getting. 
Um, How's not that great? But uh, nice, we get the Town Flame start for once. That's beautiful. Cool. We got a pretty good starting hand. I might just uh, Cynthia. I don't really want to go Sycamore. We'll see. Let's see. Nice. That was a really good draw. Oh, so it looks like we're playing against a uh, Zorak deck, which is a pretty good matchup. Basically, all, not an auto win, but like almost an auto win. And ooh, turn two Tyrantrum. Beautiful. He's obviously going to be like, oh, I'm going to save that in. But uh, yeah, that's not going to work out in your favor because I got turn two Tyrantrum. We get some energy in the discard, too. Which is nice. Uh, could you please play a game with Guardi Lycanroc? I tried to make my own, but I don't have enough codes. I might do a game, Mikey, but the thing is, this is kind of like the Electrode team. Tekken and a Dedene. Oh, yeah, the Dedene. If you have laying on your bench. Yeah, you could use that with Electrode, I guess, in a way. Ha <laughs> ha, oh, thanks. Yeah, it's, again, I think it's an okay ladder. I definitely think Alola Ninetales is a good card. I think it's still going to be good post rotation, especially with Baby Ninetales still being a thing. Um, and I bust awesome. Uh, he's playing Aether Paradise. Ooh, so this is Rayquaza. No, it's not. Wait, yeah, it can't be Rayquaza. I don't know what it is. I do know what it is. All right, let's see what we draw. N is pretty good. We'll get rid of these boys. And yeah, turn two Tyrantrum. It's always appreciated. And okay, I guess a 19. All right, so we will put down the T Tyrantrum. I don't, I can't really tell what he's playing. Alright, we got another Voltor, we got Parallel. We'll save Parallel. Oh no, there's Canoe. Go Kaboom. Um, and I'm, speaking of going Kaboom, I'm gonna grab Electrode. And I get a Fossil too. I don't need, I don't wanna fill my bench up too much, but the nice thing is, um, you can Parallel your Pokemon away to uh, make room for uh, Tyrantrum's ability, and then you Electrode blow yourself up, so you move a bench spot right off the bat. Which is the beautiful part about having Electrode in this deck. I still don't know what he's playing. And we just gave him a massive hand. Yikes. Your avatar looks like Jon Snow wearing a Charizard mask. Nice. I didn't even realize that, to be honest with you. Kind of does. Yeah. Kind of does. I don't watch Game of Thrones, but I know what Jon I know what Jon Snow looks like off the top of my head. But yeah, it kind of does. Does Jon Snow have green eyes? Because if it does... Well, that's Matt Hand. Why didn't you realize? Yo. Yo, how's it going? Great grammar. Ooh, Manetric? Okay. This is my, I guess the Tapu Koko deck. Matt Hands in the chat. Oh, no, hold back. That's a good turn. And, yeah, great. Oh, I should have just standed. Dang it. All right, so... Do we win next turn? I think we do if my opponent doesn't get a Pokemon down. Never mind, he does. Okay. Sadly, Coco it doesn't have a weakness to fighting, in it, despite it being a lightning type. I keep getting 12s when I hit him, and it gives me 22. Great. How you been, Little Dark Fury? I've been doing good, Matt. Been doing good. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Okay, so he's not attacking me this turn with Coco. He got one energy in play, and I can get damage on him now, which I kind of like. I think that's a good thing. I'll have to see what kind of build this is. Is it pulse rotation? Is it um, not pulse rotation? I think it is, because Copycat and Cynthia. Metric, though, is a really cool card, though, with uh, these lightning decks. I'm glad Lightning's getting some more support. Lightning's always been, like, the worst type in the TCG for a really long time. So it's nice to see it's actually getting some kind of moral support now. Uh, I think I hold the hand. I'm pretty happy with it. I could have played Parallel, but I'm going to keep it for a... Um, he still only has one energy on. Even though he might go Coco next turn again. Uh, we'll grab Choice Band, and I... Maybe get energy in the discard instead. Hmm. Let's grab Dionysi. We don't really need to discard them next turn, so it's safe to probably just grab Dionysi here. We'll just save the parallel. No problem, man. Your video have gotten really good. Cool to see how your channel is growing. Come to watch Little Dark Fury kick ass PCGL. Yeah, thanks, dude. Seabear Gaming, yo, how's it going? Yo, Seabear, welcome to stream tonight. How you doing, brother? Thanks for stopping by on the stream tonight. My opponent's gonna do a lady. Four cards. I think I just attack him with Tyrantrum next turn. I think I KO him too, right? 
with the two strong energies and the choice paint I grabbed. And that's not an N, obviously, so you know, we're in the Gucci gang here. Oh, this is empty. Never mind. But yeah, thanks for everyone for stopping by on the stream tonight, guys. Just noticed we're almost at 40 viewers once again. Have you texted Nick at all? This has been giving me a beautiful R bomb. Oh, okay, so you are bombing. <laughs> Quit acting like a nine year old. Doing okay, man. Finish testing and taking a break. Nice, Sea Bear. Yeah, I'm starting college in like less than a month myself. I'm going into a new program, though. So, looking forward to it. Alright, so we take out Coco this turn. We parallel him. I think that might be stronger. Yes, flip over 19. Alright, so we attach. We choice band. Which, uh, how much are we doing base? We might not even need to play down, honestly, down. We're doing 120, 140, 170. Yeah, we knock him out. We don't need the Diancy quite yet. I think we end him too. Why not? That hand wasn't doing much. Baby Buzz, welcome to the party. He concedes. Rip. Tyrantrum. Um, I think I'm going to switch it up, though. I am getting kind of bored of playing Electro decks, not going to lie. Uh, we've been playing them all night on the stream. So we'll switch it up here. Um, I have a fuller Mew EX for trade. Do you have a Dynasty for trade? Um, hmm. Place ball or Jenna, I might. What Dynasty are you looking for? Alright, so yeah, we're going to switch it up. We're going to play a different deck this time. Um, you know what? Actually, I just thought of a great idea for a deck. Just have a great idea for an. We're gonna play an expanded deck. We're going to an expanded format for this, but we're gonna play an Archie's deck with Swampert and Empoleon. You think Weavile going to be good post rotation? I've tested. It seems decent against things like Ray. I think uh, uh, Evil of Domination Weavile is really good. Rule of Evil is also pretty good thanks to Shine of Punishment. Can you try Zork Macargo? I might maybe. Af maybe after I make this deck. Have you tried a Yolo Guzzler GX Electro deck? Uh, unfortunately, Sea Bear. Um, it won't work like that. Electrode um, can't go on GXs or GXs, so it can only go on non-GXs. So you could put on Baby Guzzlord and then Ninja Boy, I guess. That'd be, like, the best best meme of 2018 there. Okay, so... Um, so, yeah, we were going to build a Swampert deck, in a way. We are going to play a, a Swampert deck. Um, so the question is, what will our main... What will our attackers be while we have to play Archie? So we're going to play stuff like Empoleon. Uh, yeah, Total Command seems cool. I guess Blastoise, but that'd be way too many Archies. We can't Archie. I mean, we'd have the Archies every turn, and that's super inconsistent. The Star when the Amplifies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I do. Actually, I can check real quick if I have that. No, unfortunately, they're all locked. Um, okay, so what else can we add to this deck, do you guys think? Oh, lame, lol, yeah. I mean, Electro will be pretty broken, though. Like, imagine that with Rayquaza GX. Yeesh, that would be insanely good. I don't know, actually, I'll just build that on my own time. There's too much thinking that has to go into that. I think we'll just do something different. Actually, let's play Donphan Hoopa. You know what, I like this deck. It's a custom build deck, but we're going to play it. The newer theme decks are so good. Yeah, I heard the, uh, the, the Swampert one is really good. So we're just going to play some Donphan Hoopa, because why not? The Alolan Golem GX um, expanded Electrode. Unfortunately, Ivid, you can't use Electrode with uh, Alolan Golem. Alolan Golem's interesting, it's just that fighting weakness is brutal. Maybe Pulse Rotation it could work, who knows? I think Alolan Golem's potential, it's there, it just needs the right support. But I think it's, I don't think it's a terrible card by any means. I mean, you can use Alolan Golem with Electrode from Evolutions. That obviously works. Alolan Golem would also work with, um, with, uh, Magnazone. The new Magnazone. So, Alolan Golem Magnazone could be a post rotation build. I might maybe do a video on that, just because it seems like a fun rogue to test out. So, what do we start with here? I think we start with Mewtwo. So basically, the idea of this deck is you use Donphan, the new one that has Rapid Spin, which forces both players to switch Pokemon. And you have Hoopa, which he works with Unit Energy, and we have that new Unit Energy, we know from last set, which works for fighting 
and with um, Dark Pokemon, which Don Fan and Hoopa just swapped me. All right, do good stream. I have to hit the hay. Got to be a worker in the morning. Peace, cracks again on three K. Thank you, Mini English, and yeah, peace out, dude. Thanks for stopping by in the stream and thanks for showing the support. Uh, all right, so I mean, it's playing Zoark, so we have to go all in with these Don Fans. I think he won't see this coming. All right, that's not a bad hand. We can Guzma next turn. That seems good. Hopefully, we don't get Enhanced Hammer. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Okay, it's a Bayonet Zoark deck. All right, that's perfect, because Bayonet gets hit for weakness by Hoopa, and Zoark gets hit for Dawn fans. So it's a perfect matchup. He might play Team Flaregrunt, though. I don't actually know if these lists play heavy, heavy hammers or anything. Could be copycat. Um, could be post rotation. Could be copycat. That made no sense. Nice. So he passes. Okay. So we drew Unit Energy, which is nice. So we'll put down my boy Donphan. Donphan can take a hit from Zorak too, which is really good. Um, uh, yeah, I think we just Guzma up the Zorua. I kind of want to Ultra Ball for Hoopa. Do I want to do that, or do I... I don't want to get rid of anything in this hand. I think we'll just hold the hand and just rapid spin him for the knockout. Donphan is kind of tricky, though, to get the damage up to one-shot Zork, but you can do a lot of damage to it. I will save the Ultra Ball for next turn. We can Ultra Ball next turn and play, like, Ender Cynthia, where we top deck and attach Yun Energy to Hoopa, which seems like a pretty good play by me. So see if my opponent does knock out my Mewtwo here. It is weak to Psychic, and he needs a few supporters in the discard. Hello, I'm your opponent. Yo, Mr. Never Die. How you doing, bro? Yeah. Are you? Oh, Dark Knight. Okay. All right. We'll see. We'll see what we can do here. Again, this is a pretty decent matchup for us, just because we have like a super good typing advantage here. But the thing is, though, um, Mr. Never Die, just please don't like peek at my hand or anything. Just, I mean, that is kind of cheating in a way. Um, what's your What are you watching? Now. So my opponent will do Sycamore. Okay. Let's see. Sycamore, do they get the knockout? They're getting rid of a bunch of supporters, so yeah, they probably will. My boy Mewtwo won't live. There's Bayonet. It's actually resistant to fighting, isn't it? Oh, wow. That sucks. DC on Zorua, okay. Looks like they got a bit of bling going on. Shady move to the Dawn fan. Okay, that's annoying. That actually puts them in range against Zorark, but we do have some options to counter Zorark. It's not the end of the world. Mewtwo did his job. All right, so let's see what we chop deck. Another Cynthia. So we're going to have to get rid of N and Cynthia, I think, just to do Cynthia. That's fine. We get the secret beautiful tech card that beats all other tech cards in the standard format. That's Hoopa. Well, I guess, yeah, he could Shady move my Hoopa, too. Plus, he has Baby Buzz in play, but he runs on Rainbow Energy, not Strong Energy. So Baby Buzz's damage is still awkward. Ooh, we have Goomy. I, we could make him Goomy. I don't know. I think Gumi can go. Gumi's, I mean, Gumi, you're my boy and all. You're one of the best Pokemon ever printed, but unfortunately, we gotta get rid of you. Bye, going to bed. All right, you'll see you, Nathan. Thanks for stopping by tonight. And uh, yeah, thanks for all the support. Yeah, we'll just rapid spin. And we'll bring Hoop out. If I get DC, we knock out this Bayonet, right? Yeah. Seems like a good play. Oh no, he brings out. I forgot Rapid Spin makes you switch. I, again, don't, things aren't doing that much damage to me. Just barely take one here. Dang, it's got a 21. We see an Ultra Ball. Yo, DJ Believe! Congrats on the 3000. I don't have to have much free time these days, but I check out your vids whenever I can. Dig in the Celestial Storm content. Thank you, DJ Believe. And thanks to all for the support over the years of me playing, bro. You're a big supporter of me, and I do appreciate that. So thank you. I like the idea of Shrine and Scizor. I've been testing myself and having a lot of fun with it. Yeah, that could that could work with Scizor as a way to 
get his damage down low so that you can... Yeah, good way to get damage down low. So yeah, Shrine is decent with Scizor, I think. It's not terrible. I think Shrine of Punishments is going to be one of those, like, really good stadiums you see quite a bit of Pulsation, especially with Parallel leaving and stuff, maybe even Fairy Garden leaving, you know, stuff like that. Some of the bigger stadiums leaving. This puzzle might give me some problems, but again, it's not doing that much damage. Yeah, it's only doing 60. Okay, we do float. I think I'm just going to spread out the energy then for now. Okay, we got Choice Band. Not bad. We have Ultra Ball. I don't really need that right now. I think we'll just uh, Rapid Spin him. We'll bring out the other Hoopa. I could bring out the one the float, but it's already got 60 damage and energy on it, and I need that. And uh, we'll do this. No Guzma in hand to knock out that baby Buzz. That kind of sucks. Obviously, Buzz will GX is something you can run this deck. This is more of like a budgety kind of a deck. Can we have the guy with you do 25 Jumping Jacks Poggers? You want to do it, Connor? Mad hand. Come on, no. <laughs> Connor says no, man. <laughs> Hold Peter. <laughs> okay, so let's see what my opponent can do. He can Shady move and put a damage on Hoopa. That is, you know, he has an option to do that. And it technically makes Hoopa get wrecked by Buzz. He might have Guzma here, too, to uh, knock me out. Of course, he hits another 21. I don't know. I like playing Blackjack. Let me guess I'm addicted. Don't have to say I'm addicted. No. Oh. He's actually going to retreat into the other shuffle. Okay. I see. So I guess, I, does he attack with another Bayonet here? I guess that's his play. Oh, maybe double puzzle. He might Guzma here. Maybe that's why he did that. I think he's going to Guzma knock out my Hoopa. Or maybe my Dawn fan. I don't know. Nope. Oh, field blower or rainbow energy? Okay, that gets rid of that, I, the float. So I guess he does have that Bayonet play. Nope. Okay. And we drew DCE. Um... I think we do this instead. We're gonna have to grab a Lele for Guzma. Guzma, you're in the deck, right? Yep. Enough with the busty. Okay, so we'll grab a Lele. And we're gonna take out that Buzzwool there. Let me just check the deck again real quick. We got one float, and it looks like a couple of our Guzmas ended up being prized too. So we got one Guzma prize. We might get off the prizes. As long as we deal with this baby Buzzwool, we're okay. I'm going to attach here. This may sound crazy, but I do have a cool card in this deck called Rainbow Brush. So we'll be able to uh, swap that energy out with a Dark Energy. So that's going to be a fun little play. And we'll just bring out this Hoopa here. I played a few puzzles. Yeah, I can't do all puzzles. So that uh, thing probably won't come back. I had a nice budget Toxtroke deck with Dynasty Survivor deck. Kind of fun. Yeah, the Toxtroke is an interesting fighting type. Something I have looked into in the past. Just never got around to doing it. I had the Magikarp GX strat is best. Magikarp GX Matt is... Um, the best deck in the format at the moment, I think. Bridget, it's kind of a useless card. Why does this guy get a three? So he's oh, he gets stretcher back. No, Hoopa. That's pretty bad. Now. Hippers. Okay, so we'll see if he's. Oh, he has Guzma. He's gonna knock out the other Hoopa though. I'm fine with that. I'm just gonna. I'm not having a blackjack. So we'll bring out the Dawn fan. We end him to four. He does have two so arcs. Ooh, another Hoopa. Thank you. We'll put the DC on the Hoopa. We'll end him. See what we can muster up with this end. We got another dark. Okay. Um, we played a bunch of supporters. We're getting low on supporters. That's something to note down. And we'll just rapid spin him. Going to the other Dawn fan. Because they can probably sponge a hit here. Maybe not from Baina. Yeah, Baina would wreck me, but Zoark wouldn't. So I guess that's the play is going to this guy. Please add Gumi, the one with the. Yeah, I did Lizard. There is uh, one Gumi in this deck. It is in the discard, though, at the moment. 
We didn't really need it in this matchup. He already kind of had enough energy on the board as is. We do have cards like Enhanced Hammer in here. I don't want to give away what's in the deck exactly, though. Just to give my point of the advantage, because he is actually in the stream, I think. What are you playing? Let me get Temple on. Look, Peter. All right, so let's see what he does. He'll take out my Dawn fan, but again, it's just cannon fodder at this point. This matchup doesn't seem to be hard, but it this matchup's not going the way I wanted it to go. He's still hitting this Dawn fan. I'm fine with that. We can actually flail a Zoark at some point. I wouldn't mind a Guzma top deck, so I can get rid of that um get rid of that Buzzwool on the bench. But uh, we do knock him out with Hoopa, which is really good. Okay, this is where things might be able to pick up. Okay. We got him. Yeah, we'll rapid spin this. How many DCs have I played? Two. Uh, I think I still bring out the. I think this Hoopa can take a hit, anyways. I doubt he's got any Buzzles left. We still have one Guzma prize. I wouldn't mind getting out the prizes here so I can take out a Bayonet next turn. Let's see. Come on. Dawn fan. All right. What does this guy do? Oh, he could confuse me. That would be very annoying. I guess we could float out of it, though. He's going to drop a Lele. He might grab a... Uh, he might grab... What's his face? Guzma. If he has one left, he's played two. He is grabbing it. So it looks like he's targeted down at my Dawn fan. If he has a choice band and a... Yeah, if he has a choice band, he could KO Lele by moving the damage off. Gotta go now. I gotta go for now. I may be back, though. All right, Avi, it's all good. I'm probably gonna be ending the stream anyways after this match. We've been It's almost two hours long. Um, so I think it's a good time just to end off the stream after this game we do. So, that's fine. So, let's see what he brings out. Does he knock out Lele? No, he knocks out my Dawn fan, which is fine. He's actually knocking out with Bayonet, of all things. Okay. Do I want to put down another Dawn fan at this point? I mean, we have Diancy down. I don't know. I don't know. Hoopa can put in work for now, I guess. Let's see what my opponent does, other than these trades. Just gotta hope he's not playing four Guzmas. I don't know what these Bayonet Zork de deck lists look like. Whom Dawn Fan is interesting. Yeah, the new Dawn Fan is really cool, and I'm playing it with Hoopa, because you can use unit energy with it. It's a fun little rogue budgety deck, because you don't really need Lele. You can obviously make room for it. We are super low on supporters, though, too. How many Dawn fans are left? We got one left. I play a 4-4 line. So it's tempting. Just going to put the damage on Hoopa again. But again, I don't know what he has to stop it. He put another Bayonet down, so we can't do Shuppet it to Confuse Me anymore, which is kind of good. So he's going to KO me. Um, and we do KO him back in return. Uh, Buzzwell, you can go... Right, we'll put down Fan P. I I might regret it, but again, I do have it. What is this? Oh, Jacob, this is a Dawn Fan Hoopa deck. It's a fun little build that I've created here. Uh, we'll play Special Charge, get back DC Strong. That's going to come down. Um, but yeah, the deck kind of just uses Hoopa with Yoon Energy, Dawn Fan, and uh, Hoopa can deal pretty well with stuff like Bayonet and Dawn Wings, and then you know, Dawn Fan hits these uh, Bayonets. And yeah, we'll knock him out here for 160 damage. If I have any choice bands and I get my Glass Guzma off the prizes, I'll be golden. And no, we don't. And oh, we had a Guzma choice band prize. If I took those prizes, I would have had it. Wow, I would have won the game next turn if it doesn't end me. Rip. Interesting. Yeah, this is an interesting pick. I like this deck. I'm having a lot of fun playing around with it. Originally, I had a Mime GX in the deck, and I swapped it for that Goonie. Oh, Peter. Well played. Yeah, good game. All right, well, I think I'll end up the stream here, guys. It's been two hours, um, and it is late at night. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll wrap the stream. We had a lot of fun in today's stream. Uh, wow, we're very close to that. Um, but, yeah, I think we'll end up the stream. Thank you guys for 3,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for a nice viewer count, too. It means a lot. Show all the support. All the support you guys showed tonight was amazing. You guys, we had a blast tonight. Uh, we tried out Electro decks. Didn't, you know, kind of... Well, lopsided, but uh, yeah, I think we're going to end the stream off um, here, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video. I might stream tomorrow if I am home alone. I might be home alone tomorrow, which would be a good time to stream. So I might stream tomorrow. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for 3K subs. Love all you guys. Thanks for the subs. And uh, thanks for the support on the channel. 
And I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning for a video that is going up in Tyrantar Electrode. Thanks for watching, guys. Awesome stream as usual. Thank you, Josh. And yeah, catch you guys later. Peace out and have a good night.